Hello. Hello, can you guys hear me? Okay, sorry, I'm like, I'm 100% awkward here. I hope this is working well. I'm sorry it's late. Okay, so you guys can hear me, you can see me. I've got cake. Okay, it's working. Yes. Yes. Okay, apologies for the late start. As you guys know, this is basically my first live stream. Had a little technical difficulty, of course. Okay, good. It's working. Woohoo. Everybody can hear. Okay, okay. Yay! Yay! Okay, good. I have cake. It's my B day. I appreciate you guys being here. Um, I'm gonna blow out these candles and we'll eat cake later, but yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna make a wish. Hold on. Woohoo! For all of you guessing, it's vanilla. I'm like a like a vanilla cake with like the, the terrible vanilla icing like from childhood that's too sweet. That's my favorite kind of cake. I have no idea why. Mm, that smells good. Okay, so yay! Yay! Um, thank you guys for being here. I'm I'm crazy nervous. Uh, I just don't really go live because I'm kind of a spaz. Uh, so yeah, I'm so happy you guys are all here. Um, I've got my, I've got several things going here, the chat, so you're gonna see me looking off here for the chat. Uh, I'll do my best to answer questions and stuff, but this is, this is a, a, a 70,000 subs, thank you, uh, and my birthday live stream, and just to, to chill with you guys, open some packages that I've been saving. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think my sister is here in the chat, if that's true. Hey, sis. Um, not as fast. Thank you. I appreciate that. I am kind of as fast. Videos are easier because you can edit out anything stupid that you say, but live, I will probably say something dumb. Yeah, okay. Um, thank you to everybody saying happy birthday. I'm really curious. Uh, I can't see numbers. I don't know how many people are here, but... Uh, oh, yeah, I can. I wonder where everybody's from. Let me know where you guys are from. I'm, I'm curious. Am I 20? No, I'm not 20. I might not tell you the actual number, though. I'm, I'm 70,000. That's what I am. It's my 70,000th birthday today. My sister's been talking smack about me while I wasn't here. Yeah, right. She never would. Oh, you guys are so nice. Everyone's so sweet. I feel like there's a lot of US US audience viewers. <laughs> Thank you, John. I appreciate it. I will buy a cup of coffee. Oh, I also have. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this, actually. I have champagne. I have a little bottle of champagne. Thank you, Todd. I'm gonna open some champagne. How about we do that? We'll just have a champagne off to the side. I could sip on it. I like the little bottles because it's usually just me drinking it and I can't drink a whole bottle of champagne most of the time. Holy. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of US, US cities, USA. Woo. Thanks for all the happy birthdays. I don't usually do very much for my birthday. I'm not a huge like party birthday kind of person. I don't know if I'm allowed to show pouring alcohol on a stream. I don't know the rules, guys. I don't know the rules of live streaming. Hey, you know, maybe you guys are seeing this and it'll get taken down later because we're, we're drinking alcohol. I have no idea. Champagne, see how bubbly? Ooh. Oh, it smells so good, yum. Adult beverage. Does anyone know the rules? Am I allowed to drink this? I don't. Mmm. 
Oh, that's tasty. <laughs> that's so tasty. Mm. Oh my god, I'm gonna go to jail. Yeah. No, but I mean, like, I think, like, there's nothing I could do about it right now, but I don't know if they'll keep the video up later if it has alcohol in it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. It's grape juice. Good call. Good call. All right, I'm just going to see if I can... I can see... Okay, so the super chats and stuff, I can see those after. Okay, cool. Good to know. Okay, so if I miss a question, go easy on me. Uh, I'll try to answer as many as I can. I don't know how to get rid of this, though. Okay. Uh... Okay. I think you can drink booze on a live stream. I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, they can't stop me from doing it right now, but we'll see if the video stays up. It might just get removed or something. Who knows? Mm. Okay. I should focus. It's kind of chilly in here. I don't know about you guys, wherever you are, but it is not normal April weather around here lately. A lot of boxes yes there are a lot of boxes I I have been saving up uh, some packages that I got since Christmas uh, and so there's some here that are Christmas presents so that's cool but I just wanted to save some to open on my b-day so it'll feel like presents on my b-day channels drink beer on their live stream okay okay thank you Ian that's so generous thank you I appreciate it Yes, thank you to my mods. I have a, a few really great mods who help me on the channel in live chats and on the Discord uh, and in other ways. Uh, but Ian, Dylan, Andrea, Matt, Cool Beans, uh, and my editors also help me as well. Steph, Dimitro, Polly. Everyone's awesome. Everyone's awesome. Really appreciate all the help. It was a bit of a shit show to get this live stream going. Okay, so I went, I pressed go live. Uh, I thought I set everything up. I was running a, a touch late, a couple minutes, uh, and then I pressed, I was like, yes, I'm ready. Nailed it. Pressed go live, and it said, you don't have the necessary drivers. It, install the drivers here and here, and then restart your computer. So anyways, that's what happened. So silly. Where do I get my TNG uniforms from? People send them to me, which is awesome. I have a, like a wish list page uh, in my, in my links, and I had some Star Trek uniforms up there, and people went there and sent them to me, which is so nice. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to, oh, okay, had something weird over my chat, but now I can see it. Thank you to everyone who's sending me little, little super chats, I appreciate that. And yes, 70k is awesome. I, I set the goal, hit 70k by my birthday. So we hit it just, just a couple weeks ago, which is awesome. So I'm trying to decide what the, what the next one should be. I think we can hit 80k, I want to say by July 4th, by like Independence Day. So 80k by Independence Day, I think we could hit it. Um, I did hear it was, it was Ashley's birthday today. So that's cool. Happy B-Day to Ashley as well. Um, all right, yeah, I, I uh, oh, oh, crap, I do want to do a poll, though. So I want to do a poll for uh, a 420 movie. I've got a few. I was thinking we could do two polls of four, I think it will let me do, and then we could do a main, like, a master poll. Aw, uh, thanks, Dylan, I appreciate that. Thanks for your help, uh, Dylan and Ian, for helping me set this up. Uh, Holly and Cool Beans, too. Okay, so give me two seconds here. I'm not going anywhere, but I'm going to try and set up this poll. Okay, I think I, I think I know how. It's 420 movie poll one. I got the list here. Okay. Okay. Give me two seconds. I appreciate your patience with me on this first live stream. Uh, it's, you know, the first and hopefully I'll do more now that I understand how to do it. Okay. 
I think I think I know which movie you guys are gonna choose, but we're just gonna do this. This is poll part one. We'll do part two, and then we'll do master poll. Okay, okay. Also, someone told me I was I was trying to get some ideas for some movies for four twenty. Someone told me that. Um. True Romance is a four twenty movie, but I don't know if that's true. I don't think it's like a stoner movie. I think there might be like a scene of them smoking maybe, but I don't know. I would, would you guys call that as like a stoner movie? Okay, I think I put the poll up. Yes, okay, there we go. Okay, let me know if you guys can see the poll. I think I got it. Okay, sorry, sorry, I'm being like completely silent. I'm just trying to, um, I'm trying to see if the poll worked. I think it did. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, it's working. It's just not showing me, like, I can't see how the poll is going. So you guys will have to let me know. Yeah, okay, so like I'm seeing like a minor character in True Romance is a stoner, but like would would you watch that? Like I wanna smoke a little bit and watch a movie. Like would you guys suggest I smoke to watch True Romance? I was under the impression it's like another Tarantino, which like I don't know if I wanna smoke and watch that one. Um Oh, a four twenty movie just means that's the code name for like marijuana. Uh, so I might just like smoke a little weed and watch a movie for 420. Um, okay. I, I, I'm sorry, it's making me like sign into my YouTube and stuff in order to clear this poll off so I can see the chat, which I can't see right now. So give me two seconds. This. Why do they make streaming so hard? It seems to me like every random on the internet streams and it's no big deal, but like I'm having the hardest time with this. Okay. Just signing into YouTube. Okay. Hopefully you guys can't see things in my glasses because I'm putting in my passwords and stuff. Okay, yes, please let me just see my own chat, internet. That would be so cool. Oh my God, verify it on your phone, Jesus. Okay. Two seconds. Okay, there we go. The chat, the chat is back. Okay, I understand now. This is this is this is nice of you guys to hang out with me and troubleshoot. Okay, is Harold and Kumar winning? No joke. That's kind of the one I want to watch. I was just gonna watch that one, but then I thought I should do a poll. But anyways, I, I'd be happy to watch any of them, really. Uh. I'm reading some of the chats. Okay, thanks hard. Apologies if I butcher anybody's name. So I've got like one billion packages here. Uh, so I should I should open a few packages. I'll try and keep an eye on the chat. Um, yeah, thanks to everybody who came to watch the Star Trek episodes today. I really uh, love doing the Star Trek Sundays. It's, it's a very good time. 
uh, and I hope that you guys are liking it. I'm watching every single episode, so. If someone gives you a purple Troy outfit, will you replicate the hairstyle? I will do my best, but Troy has huge hair and it's very curly. It's beautiful, uh, but I, I could try my best. I could do a half up. I could try and curl it. I do like her purple outfit though. Um, okay, I'm gonna just open like a few packages here. This one is from Ian. I might not know everyone's name who sent me a package because sometimes I get packages with no names on them. Oh. Okay, this is from Ian. Ooh. Ooh, it's like fairy tale book with like the gold on the side. So fancy. Let me see. I also kind of, I pre-opened a lot of the boxes so I wouldn't have to waste a ton of time doing that, but not all of them. I'm just reading. I think the Royale is an episode we like because it's a departure and we can see them playing craps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree. It, I like the, it's not that I didn't like the Royale. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't say I disliked it. It just, it might be one of my least favorite episodes. I'm not sure why. I, I don't know. I think, you know what? I think it was because, like, they, they went out of their way to say all of these characters are bad and the dialogue is bad. I, d I just was like, why are you then wasting time on characters and dialogue that's bad if you know it's bad? But, I mean, that's the point of it. So, I've softened a little to my, the Royale. Look at this. This is so cool. Mm. Does anyone else love the smell of books? It smells so good. I guess it's probably just chemicals, but it smells so good. Ian, thank you so much. This is such a nice book. Woof. Okay, I need a I need a plan here. I'm just gonna put everything this side. Oh, also. So I got these back when I was watching back when I was watching South Park, which I'm gonna watch more, but how 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 awesome are these? Hello. So good. I love it. If I leave to go to the bathroom, I'm either going to put up a graphic that says be right back or I'm just going to leave awesome -o just in the chair. He's so cool. New book smell, right? Okay. Keeping an eye on the chat. Is my sister here? I haven't seen her name anywhere. Has, any, is she, has she been in the chat? She said she might come by. Has anyone noticed her? Oh my god, that cake is looking good over there. Okay, I I see that this one has a long letter. I'm gonna set I'm gonna set aside all any like letters that I get so I can read them all later. From Carl. Okay, setting these aside so I can read them all later. But to live and die in L.A. Anyone like that one? That one's been on my list for a while, actually. The fairy tales book is so nice. Okay, champagne. Tara was here earlier. Okay, cool. Yes, a, a Superman behind my back. Did I? You can't really see it, but I, I did get this. Like, he's like this, this big, I guess, of Superman behind me. But I, I really think I should get maybe a new shelf and put some of the stuff that people send me because I've gotten some really cool movie stuff. Uh, but I do like my bookshelf, so I don't know. I don't know. I've been thinking about it, though. What do you guys think? New shelf, or should I just leave the background as is? I also have the fire going, but I don't know if you can see it. It's not a real fire. Uh, Harold and Kumar is still winning the, still winning the poll. Okay, look at this one. I did not open this one pre-open, like, the package, so I'm curious what this is. Just a steak knife, you know. When do I want to continue with the remaining TOS uh, original series Star Trek episodes? I do want to watch some more original series Star Trek episodes. I'm not sure when, but I'm definitely open to it. Okay, sorry about the sound. Cover your ears. Oh, my sister is here. Hey, oh. Okay, cover your ears. I'm gonna open this package. Oh God, sorry. So 
so sorry. Careful with the knife, yeah. Ooh, cool. like stolen from somewhere look at this did someone steal this and send it to me who who did this this looks for real like someone just ripped it off yes yeah, sorry sorry if that ruined everyone's eyes that's pretty cool i'm just wondering if it's like for real did someone rip that off of a sign <laughs> is there a name on this Randy. Randy, let me know if, if you stole that. All right, yeah, sorry, sorry about the loudness there. Um, I also, I wanna eat some cake for a second. And you know what I've been thinking about? I want, I want to do some gaming streams, but just judging how hard this stream was to set up, I don't know if I could pull it off, but I would love to do some of that every once in a while. Mmm. It does look real. The sign looks real, right? It's got like a mount. I think someone stole that and gave it to me. Don't steal things and give them to me, but I appreciate this. It is cool. Mmm. Yeah, this is one of those like the icing is is so sweet. It's too sweet, but it's the only time I would ever really eat a cake like this. Mm. It just tastes like childhood, you know? It's like the... That's all you want as a kid is just this kind of icing. Thanks, Paul. Watching from the UK? Cool. I think I have quite a few people from UK-ish watching i think i have quite a few uk patrons as well but it's hard to tell i can't see where people are from there more live streams would be great i agree i want to do live streams i've just been so nervous and i didn't know if i could set it up and clearly we had some issues mm. yeah sorry if this is like god i want cake so bad maybe i shouldn't be just eating but it's so good okay yeah what kind of cake do you guys get on your birthday? Jen, when are you going to watch Yesterday's Enterprise? I'm watching Yesterday's Enterprise next this this coming week on Patreon. I'm very excited. I've heard it's a very cool episode. But don't no spoilers please. I don't I don't know what it is, but people just keep telling me it's a really great episode. I'm doing great so far. Thank you, Tom. I appreciate it. I wish, does anyone know the answer to this? Can I, probably not today, obviously, but can you, can you play music on your live streams? Are you allowed to do that or is it copyright? I have no idea. Mm. Are you guys drinking anything? Mm -mm -mm. Live streams get easier the more you do them. Yeah, that's probably true. I already feel better. I was just, I wanted to get this up and running. I like to be on time. I like to keep a good schedule. I don't want to keep anyone waiting, but I figured it out. Okay, more presents. This is so nice. Okay, I'm gonna, sorry. I'm gonna try not to show addresses. My bad, okay. See, not good at this. Uh, don't show anyone's address. Adam, this is from Adam. Can you watch Kung Fu Hustle and Pride and Prejudice? I do want to see both of those, actually. Oh my god. Adam, you have the nicest handwriting I've ever seen. I'm going to read the letters and cards later. Um, but then, Adam, you have the nicest handwriting ever. Okay. I don't know what they are. They look like CDs. It is not legally safe to stream with music. That's what I thought, which is why I didn't. Um, but I was thinking, what if, what if I did a stream sometime and I had like a headphone in on a Spotify playlist that I could link to you guys and we could all listen to the Spotify playlist together? What about that? Is that allowed? 
Ooh. Oh, this is cool. This is like um movies from the 2000s, like the 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 soundtracks, the music from it. This is so cool. I feel like I want to listen to this immediately. Wow, really cool. Uh it's like film film 2000 and it's got a bunch it, yes, it is a real sign. No comment if I stole it. Randy, don't steal things. I mean, it's very cool though, but holy moly, please don't send me stolen things. <laughs> oh, goodness. Complicated, but yes, for the music. Yeah, I agree. It's it's complicated, but I just, it's very weird for me to sit around with no music playing. If I'm just like by myself doing something, I always have music playing. This is really strange to just like sit in a silent room i could use the end of my video song that's true actually i i got a i hired a girl on fiverr to just make me some comment music thank you bill appreciate that and john thank you uh are you gonna carry on with deep space nine after tng i have been recommended deep space nine a lot uh there seems to be mixed opinions on it though people either seem to really love it or really not love it uh, but I, I, I'm cool to carry on with more Star Trek as long as you guys want to keep watching. So, you know, make sure you check out all the videos. I'm, I'm doing all of them. So it, it's, you know, I, I got to make sure that it's worth it to post them all and enough people want to watch them. But yeah, definitely. I, I'm interested and I've heard it's got like, again, no spoilers, but I've heard it is a bit more serialized or the character arcs carry through or the stories or something. So that could be cool. Um, and, yes, focus. Okay, the music of Wild Things, which I haven't seen, and I've heard it's, like, pretty scandalous. Is that the kind of movie that I will be able to post on YouTube? I'm curious. But we've seen Denise Richards in Bond. Many people are not a fan, but I thought she, she did her best. I don't know. I'm not too picky about Bond girls. They do their best. Ooh, this is like a double one. Uh, what I've seen. From what I've seen, it's a good idea to vet packages. Yeah, I, I as I said, I open them and I, I tend to just peek in to make sure there's nothing crazy, but I don't want to know what exactly it is. Um, wild things will give you a copyright headache. Yeah. A lot of things give us copyright headaches. Copyright's getting crazier and crazier. Ooh, Blade Runner. Cool. All this music! Blade Runner. I'd actually like to watch Blade Runner again. The old one. Anyway. How loud is the crinkling? Should I not do that? I agree, I did love the music in Blood in Blade Runner. Mm. And yes, I can see there's there's some there I mean Star Trek fans are very hardcore. I've I've come to see, you know, people love what they love and often hate what they hate and which is cool, you know. But uh so I know there's many opinions on which Star Treks to watch and which ones to skip. Enter the Dragon Lalo Shiprin. Yes, and I did, well, actually, I was, that just reminded me, because I, I just watched, so coming on Patreon this week, and then the week after YouTube, uh, I just watched The Enforcer, but that's not Lalo Schifrin, they switched composers, now that I, now that I thought of it. Cool, thank you so much, Adam. I'm gonna listen to all of, I wish I could pop one on right now. The crinkling is not that bad. Okay, great. Oh, crinkling, ASMR. Right, I'm doing a great job. Thank you. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm winging it. We're gonna see how it goes. I hope I haven't missed any super chats. Oh, Joe, thank you. Um, if I miss the super chats, sorry about that. And feel free to shoot me an email or something after. Let me know if I missed your super chat. Now this one, I'm trying not to look in because it's open. Um, and yeah, I, I think in the future I'll probably get like my, uh, like a friend to open all the packages and just make sure it's all YouTube appropriate. 
And Ian too. Ian. Ooh. Candies. And then look at this. You guys. It's like a it's like a beanbag. Oh my god, this is so cute. I wish he was real. More candies. Yum. I am a candy girl. I don't eat that much in videos. Because I've been told it's annoying, but how cute is this? But uh, I usually I'm snacking on something. If I'm if I'm editing, I'm eating candy. So, oh my god, this is so cute. Does he have a name? It's a doorstop. Oh, cool. Oh, that explains why he's so heavy. Cutest doorstop ever. This is basically like the size of my my dog Boston. He's maybe a little bigger, but this is what size he is. But then like his hair is way bigger. Oh my god, he's so cute. I love him. What a good dog. He's so cute. A dog. Okay. You can sit over here. You can sit on the top of Osimo right now. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, would you watch Candyman? Okay, Candyman. If I don't know if it's a remake or whatever, but I saw, I saw Candyman when I was like, I want to say like eleven, and it scarred me for life. That is basically the reason I don't watch horror movies because I was at a sleepover, and I they turned on Candyman, and I it like I still think about the bees. I'm afraid of bees. I think of Candyman every time. I don't want to say his name too many times. I'm scarred for life from that movie. I was way too young to see it. And uh, I had to go home from the sleepover because I was bawling because I was so scared. So no, I will never watch that movie. And it is the reason I don't like horror, I think. Uh, so yeah, sorry, no, that's a big no. That's a big no. Uh, oh, thank you, I didn't see this one here. SGD, thank you so much. Loving your content. I can recommend Justified. If I like stories with huge arc, like True Detective. I've heard Justified's really good. I, I'm definitely open to more TV. I will be starting a new show on Patreon this week. It's a surprise. Uh, and I have a couple of shows that I've been doing over there on Patreon uh, that I will send to YouTube eventually. Uh, I did the first season of Seinfeld I have up there. Uh, so I'll bring Seinfeld to YouTube at some point. I'm just waiting because it's it's hard because I do a lot of posting now. I post five videos now every single week. And if you don't give your videos a little time to breathe, it can kind of shut them down if you post again. So I don't know. I feel like one week I might have to do just two movies and then two TV shows or something just so I don't totally shut down my, my videos. Um, okay, more more champagne. Rockstar, thank you. Oh my god, that's so good. I don't know why, champagne, it's just, it's the bubbles, I think. I love bubbly water too, I'm always drinking bubbly water. I think I love the bubbles. Seinfeld for the win. Yeah, the first season of Seinfeld is really funny. I've heard that it's like, it's not even that great compared to the rest of the show, but I had a really fun time watching it. Uh, so... Seinfeld would be fun, but it's hard to edit. Agreed, like, but my editors did a great job, and the, the YouTube cut is actually up right now on Patreon as well. I put it up there just to... I like to put it up for the patrons, and they, they're they kind of my my back my backstage hands as well, all the patrons, because they let me know, like, hey, in your YouTube edit, maybe fix this before you go live on YouTube kind of thing. They kind of help me out, so that's nice. Um, you should watch John Carpenter's The Thing. I have. It is on my channel. I, I loved it and it was way back in the day. I mean, as you guys know, you've seen my early videos. I was a lot different in them. The videos feel a lot different when I go back and look at them. I was really nervous um, back then and I wasn't quite as open. I just wasn't, I wasn't totally being myself because I just wasn't, I wasn't ready yet. I wasn't used to it. Uh, so I think I did the thing way back when. I'm not sure if it is a really huge reaction. I, I sort of wish I could rewatch a lot of the movies that I did when I was first getting started because uh, I just feel like I was nervous and I was in my head more and I didn't, 
I don't know. I just didn't have the confidence, but uh, it's been very cool to be doing these videos and it really has helped the confidence because it's when you can be yourself and you're getting feedback that like, hey, you know, it's nice to see you being yourself like that. That helps, even though, you know, you don't want to have to go outside yourself to find confidence, but it's just it, it's nice to be myself on the Internet and find that it is connecting with people even more than when I was, you know, back in the day not being myself, if that makes sense. OK, carnivore whale werewolf. Thank you. If looks could kill. 1991. I've heard of that movie. Huh. I have to put that on the list. I don't think it's on my actual list. If you guys, uh, I have all my links in my, in my about section on YouTube, so you can see, but I have like a website for movie requests. Um, and then the patrons can put their requests in and upload them. Uh, sorry, upvote them. Uh, so I don't think that one is on there though, so I will put that one on. Any plans on finishing John Wick? I do want to finish John Wick. And my editor, Demetra, actually was like, you need to watch number four. It's so good. Uh, so I do. I do want to. I do want to finish John Wick. Mm. Promote my recommendation site. Yeah, yeah. So I don't. Is, is it possible to drop a link in here? Let me see. I don't want to start messing with everything, but I'm going to see. I think. Thank you, Jeff. I appreciate it. Jeff, I, you're, I get your messages too, by the way. And I think I saw your name on a package here somewhere. I missed the MVP awards at the end. I agree, and I wish that I had kept doing them, to be honest. But at the same time, I was getting a lot of feedback when I would do the MVP awards on a lot of my old videos that I was just always giving it to the same thing, like the music, the lead character, the secondary character, or the villain. Like just those four things. And those are the main four things that I wind up talking about at the end of videos anyway. Uh, so I just kind of phased it out because a lot of people were like, your MVP awards suck and they're boring and we always know what you're going to choose. So like, fair enough, because I was basically always just choosing because those are my favorite things to talk about. Uh, so I basically still talk about that stuff but I do I have been doing uh I've been doing I'm calling them monthly roundups so and you can see them they're on patreon but they're open to everybody anybody can see them um I think the video is 30 seconds behind does the sound still match I think there's a delay a little bit here but I'm doing my best anyways so my monthly roundup is just every month I've been posting like what I watched that month, what my favorite is, what my editor's favorite is, and like some things like favorite music, favorite villain, that kind of thing. So if you want to check that out, I've been posting more of my faves. I think the video is behind. Yeah, I think it's like 30 seconds behind, but as long as it's a video that's working right now, I'm happy with that. Um, okay. We probably won't even get through all the packages today now that I'm looking at the time, but please know. And some of the packages I opened already um, when they came because I didn't know when I was doing a live stream. But just know if you send me a package, I appreciate it so much. Not necessary, but always appreciated. I didn't open this one. I'm curious what it is. Poster? Ooh. It is a poster, but it like feels, it's got like a canvas feel. I don't want to ruin this. Seems nice. It's Rocky. Ah. Is it the, what's, it's got like a quote on it. I'm trying to figure out what the quote is. This is from the first movie, I'm pretty sure. Somewhere along the line you change, you stop being you, you let the people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. Is that the first movie? I think it is. 
This is like a, it's like shiny. This is like actual canvas. I need to get a real, a real frame for this. Sorry, I don't know if you could see it, but it's very cool. I'm doing such a shit job at this. Whoop. Okay, it's so nice. I've never seen a poster that's like canvas. Me and Ashley Burton share the same birthday. That's crazy. April 7th, lucky day. If you guys go over to Ashley's live stream later, then tell her I said happy B day. Okay. That's part six? Oh. Is it the speech that he's giving to his son? Yes, the speech to his son. Okay, yes, 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 yes. Mm. Will you bring the Bill and Ted sequels to YouTube? Okay, I'm not opposed to it. However, it, again, it was like, I did the Bill and Ted movies, all three of them, and I loved them all, uh, back when I wasn't making like super great videos. So it's it's weird for me to edit really old stuff and post it now because it just seems like, a lot lower quality. Um, my reactions, I don't think are as good in the past. They're just different. I just wasn't as open. I just wasn't as confident. Um, I'm not. I'm not opposed to it, but it's. It, it is harder for than if new people come to my channel. They kind of click on that video, and that's the video they get. And it's kind of older and worse. I. I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that. I need some more kick. Cake break. I was like making my teeth hurt. That's not good. Okay. Thanks, Ken. Have you seen Being There with Peter Sellers? No, but we know I love Peter Sellers. I was thinking the other day about some of the movies I've done on the channel that like I wasn't expecting to love and I I still am thinking about them and Peter Sellers is um, Dr. Strangelove. That's him, right? I'm, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, yeah, I love that movie so much and I really just didn't, I didn't know what it was. I had no expectations, but I love it and I still think about it. So anyways, yes, I would love to see more Peter Sellers. I'm gonna set this here. Your older videos are great, I still like them and everyone else does too. That's nice. I mean, yeah, I, if I really hated them, I would take them down. Uh, I'm not embarrassed of them. It's kind of nice to see the journey that I've gone on um, to like, it, it really is quite a difference, I think anyway. Um, but, but there just definitely is a difference. Do the Pink Panther movies? Yeah, I do want to see the Pink Panther movies. Okay, more packages. Now these, I think, got mixed up all together. I don't think it's all from the same person. So I apologize if I don't have a name. Okay, cover your ears. TBR's in here? Hey guys. Freaking legends. Okay, I, looks like I got another Star Trek shirt to wear, which is sweet. Oh no, wait. Oh, is this like, this is freaking, this is, this is, this is a Crusher uniform. Oh my God, yay. It's like a badge. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna crush it as Crusher. Yes, yes, yes. Oh yeah, it's like a medical coat. Mm. That's awesome. Okay, I don't know who sent that to me, but you're amazing. I'm having a good time wearing uniforms to watch Star Trek. It is pretty cool. I and so many people have been saying you need to get the pips, the the thingies. I definitely want to get some pips. Definitely. I think that's necessary. I think I believe TBRs in here, you guys. So cool. So nice. And I just put up Ronan on my Patreon and I heard that TBR is going to do Ronan too so make sure you watch both. Ooh. Yeah. 
my god, cool. It's like a Star Trek cup. Did I even show you guys that uniform? I'm so bad at this. It's like a Star Trek cup and it says Earl Grey, but it's like the buttons, like for the computer. Ah. Where's my Chief O'Brien uniform? Good call. I'm slowly but surely developing a love for the low-key MVP, Chief O'Brien. Okay, yes, and someone sent this to me a while ago and I've been keeping it. I did open it um, and look at it, but I just wanted to show it because it's so cool. Here, it's like a Star Trek book about the old Enterprise, which is so cool. And it's got like diagrams and stuff in it. It's so cool. I'm just reading some of these. You could put a disclaimer on old videos about them being older. Yeah, sometimes I do that. I've posted a couple of things. I think when I posted True Detective, I was already like at my new place with my new camera and I just posted like, these are from over a year ago. Eh. Yeah, this, this book is so super cool. I really want to build, I, I don't know if you guys have any interest in this, but I like for fun, my sister and I both like to build uh, build houses in the Sims game, in the Sims 3 or Sims 4. Uh, so I have so many, I have such a long list of like movie houses I want to build. I want to build the Enterprise as close as I can. That would be so cool. I, I mean, I could try and stream it if anyone's interested in that. I feel like it would take a few hours, a few hours. For Memorial Day, you need to watch Kevin Bacon Taking Chance. I'm not American, Canadian. Uh, when is Memorial Day? That's, that's different than Independence Day, yes? More champagne. Look how bubbly. Oh. oh my God, can you hear that? I did the Enterprise in Sims 2. You built the Enterprise in Sims 2? That's freaking cool. I don't know if it's possible. You can do you can do round walls though. Um Okay, I haven't looked at the chats in a while. I'm really sorry. Okay, let me just see. Really sorry. Kevin, thank you. SGD, thank you. Sorry if I missed anybody's chats. It's not, uh, I, oh yeah, I've missed a whole bunch of them. I'm really sorry. I, I, I need to be better at that. Watch time after time. H.G. Wells has a time machine stolen from Jack by Jack the Ripper. Cool. Interesting. Okay, I'm just reading. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate that. Thank you, Pravda. Any chance of Oppenheimer and Barbie? I definitely want to watch them. A hundred percent, I want to watch both. I am not sure if the audience here wants to watch them, but I mean, I'm sure some do, but I, I don't know. It's, Barbenheimer is a weird reaction. I Sometimes I look at the other channels just to see like, how, how, are, how, how do people want to see this reaction? And it seems to like some channels are through the roof with those two, but then uh, some channels, not not so great. I don't know. It's it's weird, but I definitely want to watch them. Let me know if you want to see Barbenheimer, Barbie, and Oppenheimer, or one or the other. I want to see both. I need to watch both. If only because they were pretty much like a cultural phenomenon last summer that I just feel like everybody should watch. That's... Okay. Look at this teeny little thing. So cute, man. Okay, also, I really miss Bond. I miss watching Bond. I had such a fun time. I really love, like, like uh, having a huge bunch of things to watch and knowing that there's, you know, 20 movies. We, there's a whole journey to go through. I think that's so cool. So let me know some other, like, series that we should watch. Um, yeah, I really miss Bond. I, I had such a fun time doing all the Bonds. I hope they make more Bonds, and I don't know if that dude is going to be Bond that it was all over the news a few weeks ago, but I hope they start making more Bond movies. Look at this. Ooh, okay, it gets crazy hot in here while I'm filming, and I have a 
fan that points onto my camera so it doesn't overheat, but I have nothing for me, so oh my. Oppenheimer is a great movie, but it's a long watch. I've heard that. It's, isn't it? It's three hours at least, if not more. Breaking Bad is on my list. 100% I want to watch Breaking Bad. And I also, like, I know it's one of the best TV shows of all time. I've heard, you know, if, if you're making a list. Um, but also, so many channels are doing it right now. I was really trying hard to, I made, like, a New Year's resolution this year to try not to do the same content as everyone else. I mean, you're going to post the same movies because I want to watch a lot of famous movies that I haven't seen. But at the same time, like, the same week or two-week period, uh, but it's almost impossible because there are so many reaction channels now uh, and I feel like sometimes I put something on a poll and it wins and then that same week somebody else posts it but like I didn't know that was coming you know what I mean like I wouldn't have put it on the poll but anyways I'm, I'm trying my best uh, whenever I can to not post things at the same time but it's bound to happen but I do know there are quite a few channels watching Breaking Bad right now like a bunch um, so it's on my list but I'm just maybe going to kind of wait a bit until until the other channels run through it and then and then I love to watch it I've heard it's great okay just getting more packages quick break okay can I turn up the volume a little uh I am maxed out on volume I can try and sit closer to the mic I have, I have one of these, like, I have a good mic, but you pretty much have to be, like, about this far away from it, so, and I'm doing packages here, so I know the sound is probably not great, um, okay. I don't know who this one is from, oh, wait, yes, I do, CRH. Okay, look at this. It's like, it's a cassette tape of Rocky with a Walkman with the Rocky IV tape in it, which is like, that's how you would have heard it back in the day. That's so cool. Love it. I'm going to listen to this tape. It's been a while since I listened to a tape. I grew up with tapes. I didn't have any CDs till I was, I got my first CD on my 11th birthday. I remember now. I believe it was Alanis Morissette. I think I asked for that. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm actually making more progress than I thought I would. All right. If you fell asleep on camera while watching something, would you leave it in the edit? Huh. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I would put that one on YouTube if I fell asleep. I would probably put it on Patreon, to be honest. And then I would have to write something and say, like, I'm sorry, I fell asleep. Thank you, John. Are you considering any collaboration reactions this year? I would love some collaborations. Uh, now that I know I can do this, I was a little bit nervous about my setup. And my internet is not great. It's a little spotty. I live in the country. Uh, but this has been going well. We've been doing this for an hour or so, and nothing's gone wrong yet. Knock on wood. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I think I was just a little nervous about the tech aspect of it. Uh, but, yeah, I definitely want to do some collabs. I think that would be cool. I I was going to do one uh, with Dawn Marie. She wanted to do one, but then she was sick for a bit. Um, so I, But maybe, uh, yeah, I would be open to any of them. Anybody want to collab me? Just message. And I was going to do maybe a, a TNG collab, uh, but I don't know if it's going to work out timing wise. Okay, this one, hold on. Okay, wait. Okay, this one is from Bo. And this one. I hope I haven't been showing my address all over the internet. Okay, no, it's just my P.O. box. All right. 
Uh, this one is from Christmas. So apologies for not opening it sooner, but I wanted to keep some presents to open on my birthday. Okay, I will read, I will read all the letters later. Have a pile of them. There's some Christmas presents in here. Um, yeah, I'm seeing some people saying to watch with uh, popcorn in bed. I mean, obviously, that would be humongous for my channel to be able to do that. Uh, I, I don't know if it's going to work out timing-wise, though, because she's already into season three, I think, coming up soon. So, I think, I think we were... There was some preliminary chat about maybe doing a movie together, um, but I don't think I'm gonna be there for like a year. So I don't I don't know if it's gonna work out timing wise, but it was very nice of them to consider it. Um, watch your ears. Ooh. Oh my God, yes. I got some, okay, what do we call these? Action figures? Uh, collectibles? What's the right, what's the right thing? Polliner, sorry if I missed uh, some super chats here. Concerning Bond, you missed my previous super chat. I recommend you watch the Bond parody, Johnny English. Actually, a lot of people have told me that. I, I think I should. It's got Mr. Bean, right? Yeah, Mr. Bean. Um, this is cool. It's got like, he's got a little, he's got a little phaser. This is neat. I don't really have a lot of stuff like this. Uh, I, that's what I feel like I need a shelf. I need to get a shelf. All right, this is cool. Um, but yes, I would I would like to watch well some Mr. Bean anyway. <laughs> to Evil Jen. Mm -hmm. I do indeed have an evil side. It is true. Action figures. Okay, guys, it's gone. Woo. Jen grew up on cassette tape. She's ageless and immortal. <laughs> the Highlander of reactors. I will take it. I will take it. This is cool, man. Freaking con. I'm not supposed to take these out of the package. Is that right? These are supposed to stay in the package? Oh, what is the next poll? Thank you. Okay, yes. Thank you for remind reminding me. Thank you, John. Okay, let's end this poll and I'll put up the next poll, part two. So the winner of this poll is Harold and Kumar. I'm excited about that. Um, sorry, Rockstar, thank you. Gonna try this again. Happy birthday. Hope to see you react to Transformers, the animated movies. I would like to see the animated movies, but I would also like to see the Michael Bay movies, even though I don't think anyone here wants to see them because I've heard that they're all terrible, but I think I'll have a really fun time with them. But still, I would like to watch both. Uh, thank you, Joe. I appreciate it. Uh, yes, okay. Harold and Kumar are the winner of poll part one. Let me put up the next poll. ended the poll you can take them out of the package oh okay good to know I always take them out of, my, out of the box okay all right I don't feel so bad then I do kind of want to take them out of the box okay give me a sec while I put up the next poll okay poll number two Talk amongst yourselves. I've got the list ready. Okay, one second. Oh yeah, good call. Does anyone want to see the second Highlander movie? Because I had a good time, but then so many people said the second one is really bad. Um, but it could still be fun. I, even if the movie is bad, pretty much have fun anyway. You can take them out of the package, but make sure, but keep the boxes too. Keep the packages too, okay. Good to know. But I feel like they should just be on a shelf, like, for display purposes. Okay, poll number two, I'm ready now. I think I've done it. 
Did anyone see what was number two in the last poll? I'm so sorry. I only looked at Harold and Kumar. Does anyone know? No lying. What was number two in the last poll? Because I could put up the last four. Eh, I could just put up two. Okay, more. It's Spock. Ooh, and he's got the... Hmm? And he's got gloves. This is cool, man. I want to look at these boxes closer, too. I think there's, like, lots of info. An engineering tool. Oh, radiation gloves. Cool. Oh, these are bases, and you set them up. Maybe I should take these out of the boxes and set them up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you've heard me say this previously but if i had to choose my all-time favorite movie of all time jurassic park it blew my mind as a child it just blew me away it I, it so changed everything i ever thought about movies so this is awesome because it's my all-time favorite movie maybe that will change if i see something else but it's still always going to be the top the top of the top All right, movies. <laughs> I'm loving all the notes on these. There's notes every layer of wrapping paper I go. It's like another note. All right, what do we got? <gasps> Hans Zimmer live in Prague. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Man, I, so Hans Zimmer is doing like a world tour and I wanted to go. I wanted to bring my sister and go. But I looked at the tickets on the day that they came out in Toronto and they were like $500 each. So it's just bananas. I mean, of course, because he's amazing. Uh, so I'm not going to go to that. So this is the next best thing. So I'll get my sister to come over. We'll get all dressed up and we'll watch Hans Zimmer live in Prague. Yes. Cool. I'm running out of room here. Okay, all right. Cake break. Mm. All right, I'm gonna check out some of these chats. Do you still keep your old physical media like VHS? Uh, not really. No, I, I don't have. I used to have a ton of DVDs, um, but just I've, I've moved a lot. I've had like so many apartments and I just over time kind of phase them out uh, to less physical media. And, uh, you know, to do these reactions, I can watch the DVDs, but then like to do the editing, I have to like rip them and they, they wind up. I have to put them back to digital anyway. Yeah. Have you thought about old black and white Hitchcock movies? I do love Hitchcock. I have a few Hitchcocks on my channel now. Um, and in the channel members poll, which I'm going to put up the final poll tomorrow. So for channel members, you get the same early access as Patreon gets. Um, so you get early access to the videos whenever I can. Sometimes there's copyright issues. Uh, but, oh, sorry, an error just popped up. Can you guys see me still? Let me know if you guys can see me. There's just a big like error button. YouTube is not responding. Yeah, okay. All right, you guys can still see me? Okay, sorry about the pause there. It just, it, it says error and it looks like I'm not streaming, but okay, okay, we're still going. Fair enough. Um, I don't know what I was talking about. I'm not sure. Oh my God, this cake. What? Whoa, Craig, thank you. 
channel is appreciated. I use it as a way to casually unwind. So do I. I have so much fun, like, relaxing now. I'm not so nervous, apart from live streaming. Collabs with your sister are great. I would love to do more. Looking for more TV content, recommend AMC Preacher, Rubicon, Old Man, Highlander. It's a TV show, Highlander? Oh, wait, I think I did know that. Huh. I would like to, yeah, I, I would like to do more TV. Oh, right, we were talking about uh, channel members because I, so currently I, I do channel members get early access but then they also get, throughout the month, I do like a bracket poll. So one of the bracket poll winners this month was The Birds by Hitchcock. So that's going to the finals this week. Um, along with Dawn of the Dead, the early one, Zombieland 2, and something else. Mm. How old was I when Lord of the Rings came out? Which one? Like the, the main one? The big one? I was... I'm old. I'm older than you guys think I am. Uh, I was in high school, I think. I'm pretty sure. All right. This, I actually don't know. This might be something I bought for myself. This is just a package from Amazon. Okay, that's just nothing. All right. Okay. Ugh. Now, this one I, I did already open, I think. If it's what I'm thinking it is but I wanted to show it because it's cool. Thank you, Lee. One sec. Yeah, I'm 70,000 years old. Dawn of the Dead, 1978. Yeah, that's going to the finals pool this week. Okay. Not showing anyone's address on my jerseys. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Picard Legacy Collection. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's a letter in there too. Okay. Oh, it's a book. Ooh. And magnets. But there's something under it. Okay, yes, 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 I see. The Complete Series, Picard. I have heard that it's very good, but also some people are not into it. And then the four Star Trek movies, good. Okay, because I don't have those actually. Awesome! Posters, playing cards, engage. Oh, it's everything. Next gen, good, this is all the seasons. Wow, this is like the complete the complete pack of everything. Is everything good? I saw somebody say something about an error. Okay, all right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, this is very cool. Oop, I'm doing it wrong. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. This is like a nice box. Engage. That is a cool catchphrase. Engage. Make it so. Yeah, this is an amazing gift. I'm going to put this somewhere like where my cats can't get all over it. Okay, you guys are sending me such nice stuff. Uh... Okay, I do have some more letters. Okay, have I been missing anybody? Thanks for joining. Appreciate it. Okay. Looks like another book. TNG, the continuing mission. 
Ooh, there's some good like diagrams in here of the ship. Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna need to build it. This is cool. I love these books. They're so beautiful. Okay. Yeesh. I might have to pause soon, take a quick intermission, and maybe move some of these packages out of the way and bring over some more. Uh, is there a PO box to send gifts for the next live stream? Yes, I wasn't sure what I was doing with my P.O. Box. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain, to be honest, because I don't know, the, a lot of people send me stuff like from Amazon and they don't really like delivering to the post office and they'll, they just like, a lot of people have tried to send me packages and they haven't made it because they just get like, the Amazon guy goes once and then he never goes back again. Um, can I tell you my snake story? I should tell you my snake story. You're right, you're right, it's, it's time. Uh, but yes, so what I have right now is a wish list uh, website it's in my links on the about section um, which is so if there's something you want to send me you can go there and suggest the gift to me through that website and I just click yes uh, if, if it's you know I'll, I'll always click yes probably unless it's something crazy um, and then it will send it right to my house uh, so that there's no so if it's from Amazon it comes right to my house um, and they just keep the address hidden that's the whole point of the website just because I have so much trouble with the post office uh, it, there's they suck um, so, yeah, I do have a post office box, but to be honest, like, I would say, like, 20% of packages that people try to send me don't make it, and I get, like, emails from people, I sent you something, and it got returned, and, like, how do I get it to you, so, I don't know, I, I'm kind of hesitant to, yeah, I'm kind of hesitant to use the P.O. box, I'm thinking of phasing it out and just using the website, so you can, you can link what you want to send me, and I just click yes, and then it comes right to me, I, th I think... I think that sounds I think that it, it, it seems better everything has made it to me that people have sent me through the website it's called throne uh, so anyways the post office does suck right it's terrible just like why do you have like why would I get a post office box and then nothing can be sent to it it's so annoying and it's annoying for you guys because you spend money you get me something and then it doesn't get delivered that's crazy talking about the Canadian post office yes yes I'm here on my live stream ranting about the Canadian post office yeah yeah terrible so if you want to try uh, going through the Throne website, I've had really good luck with that. Um, but I do have a, I do have a P.O. box. I'm just, I hate it. I hate it. And it, I want you guys to, at least if you're going to take the time to send me something, I want to at least get it. Um, okay, champagne. Oh, it's not an Amazon marketplace. It is, it's called Throne. I think on my about, on my about tab on YouTube, I'm pretty sure it says send me a gift and there's a there's a website. Um, and yeah, if you just have like a, an Amazon link, you just link it and then I get an email saying somebody wants to send you this and I approve it and that's it. Um, okay, the snake story. I'm just gonna tell you the snake story. I just have, I'm, I, it's not even that great of a snake story. I feel like the, the buildup has been crazy. Uh, but it, I just, so I went to visit this friend of mine uh, one time and she had a, a huge snake just giant in this huge um big case big what aquarium terrarium whatever whatever they're in and I was like I heck no I would never have that in my house and she's like oh he's so sweet uh don't no like he's really sweet which I've heard actually snakes are really sweet so fair enough fair enough if you're a snake person but then uh like she had to get rid of it because like just a and I stayed overnight, that's part of the story. And then uh, like a few weeks later, um, a few weeks later, she told me she had to get rid of it because the snake started doing this thing. She's like, I didn't really think anything of it at first, but then I asked the vet and then it turned out, okay, so the snake started when she was sleeping, she would wake up and the snake was stretched out lengthwise in her like she would just let it like roam around her house that's also part of the story uh so it would it, it was stretched out like she was in bed and it was stretched out beside her lengthwise and it kept doing it like a few nights in a row and she was like that's sort of weird that's like weird behavior um and yeah so she so she checked she wasn't really alarmed but she checked with her vet and the vet told her this is why i'm afraid of snakes 
the vet told her that the snake was doing that, laying down beside her, totally straight, because it was trying to see if it could fit her inside its body. It wanted to eat. Like, that was the plan. Sizing her up to eat. Exactly. So that just, that just freaked me out so much because it was like two weeks after I spent the night there. And the snake was roaming around the house. And I was just like, I could have been eaten by a snake. Like, probably not. Let's get real. But like, it just freaked me out. That just freaked me out. No, no, no. Your pet snake was almost going to eat you. Get out of here. So anyways, that's what I, whenever I see a snake, I just think of that story. Like, it was measuring her 100%, right? Like, that's nuts. Freaking. So I have a dog and cats and they will... Well, my, I don't think my dog would eat me, but I do think if I, if I died, my cats would probably eat me. But still, not while I'm alive. Uh, yeah, can you imagine? You just wake up and your pet snake that you love, she raised it and it was a baby and it was just going to eat her. <sighs> yeah, so if you ever see a snake doing that, they're measuring you to see if they can eat you. <laughs> Crazy. Snake skin, sleeping bag, exactly. Uh, it's occurred to me that this is the first time I've seen you actually drink out of the champagne glass. True, I think. Actually, I want to say one time I had I put bubbly water in it, but I almost never do because I never know if the movie's gonna have actual champagne. But yeah, I know I'm drinking actual champagne out of this glass. We made it. We totally made it. A hundred percent, a cat would eat you. Yes, actually, you're right. I do think a cat would eat you, but it. It, I don't think it would murder you and eat you. Maybe, unless it was nuts. But, like, the snake might murder you and eat you. Anaconda's on my channel. And I was sufficiently freaked out. Because that's a giant snake. <laughs> Am I an alcoholic? No, I'm not an alcoholic. I actually don't really... Like, I don't really drink or smoke anymore. I used to smoke a lot. Uh, and I really don't drink... This is probably the first drink I've had in... Well... I, I had some beers while I was watching Seinfeld, I think, because uh, I just wanted to chill and have a beer. But I don't really, I don't really drink. Uh, you know, I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay young, I'm trying to stay healthy. Uh, no shade, though. I know people do. But yeah, this is the first champagne I've had in oh well, a long time actually. I used to drink a lot though. Is the champagne from France? No, it is Italian. It is Prosecco, uh, which I love. Uh, okay, how are we doing on chat here? Everyone's so nice and I feel much better now. I was very nervous, but just because I didn't know if I could even get this up and running. All right. Now we need the other story where you have two regrettable tattoos. Oof. Oh boy. I mean, don't we all have some regrettable tattoos? All right. Fast Times at Ridgemont High is winning. Very good. I also want to see that one. All the ones on this, like, I wouldn't mind just chilling and watching, so. That's fair. I'm not sure if Prosecco is actually champagne, but to me, they taste very similar and they're interchangeable. Uh, I guess technically it's not champagne because that would be French. Uh, but it's Italian Prosecco, which is in the style of champagne to me. To me and my taste buds. It works. I like Prosecco. Mm. I'm not sure if cake pairs very well with it, but I'm enjoying it. Okay. I'm going to take just the quickest of quick intermissions. Uh, use the washroom and clear some of this away. I will be back. Let, let's call it, let's just call it literally like five minutes. Uh, let's, so 2.45, I will come back. Okay. I'm going to put up a screen that says be right back. Um, okay. I will be right back. Hang tight.
Okay, I'm back. Can you guys hear me? I have a huge package. From Randy. You could read the letters later. Okay, can you guys hear me? I'm back. I'm just standing up now. You can hear me. Okay, good. Okay. I'll sit down in a sec. Ooh, look at this cone. Ooh, boy. With Starfleet gear. Cool. There's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Got some comics. Which I feel like I need to read more comics. Mmm. Yeah, I need to read more comics. I've read some, like, graphic novels, but not really comics. Ooh. Serenity. I did not know. Is this after? Is this after the series? How tall is Jen? I'm very short. I am 5'3". Is the Serenity comic, is that after Firefly? Whoa. Whoa, these are like camera glasses. Sport camera. I don't know what this is, but it looks cool. Oh, you can take video while you have them on. Imagine I was wearing them right now, and then I could just stream from my glasses looking down. Okay, I need to understand what this is. A model. A model. Like you build it, a model? Okay. Five three, yes, for reals, five three. Like, just barely five three, I'm very small. Three complete detailed spaceships, Ferengi, Marauder, Klingon, Bird of Prey, Romulan, Warbird. It says three piece adversary set. What does that mean? What is this? If this is a model that I need to build, I'll have to do a live stream where I build it. Cause that's cool. Wow. Oh, there's more. And a James Bond. And actually, I think I have, I've got a Wonder Woman and another one like this too. Is that vintage? I don't know, am I allowed to open it? That's a good question. How do I know if it's vintage? Well, let's say if it's vintage, like, there's nothing on the back. Okay, wait. 1989, this says 1989 on it. If it's vintage, maybe I can't open it. I thought you were 5'10". I wish I was 5'10". I feel 5'10". And the three-piece Enterprise. Yeah, these say 1989 on them, so I think never allowed to open. Yeah, I don't think I could open these. But they're so cool! I want to set them up. Okay. Still here. Wow, that was some good stuff in there. Okay, I'm sitting down, coming back, stepping around the gifts. Five three, so Tom Cruise height. Is that right? I know he's short, but I don't know if he's that short. Okay. Woo. You are allowed to open them? I don't know. I mean, I guess I can open whatever I want. That's, that's fair enough. You don't look short on camera. I, 
I feel like I have a very tall torso and I have always felt like I was very tall. Okay, I think I got these already. Whoa. Okay, hold on, the bag is going to crinkle. Tom is 5'7", yeah, that's what I thought. Look at these shark socks. Huh. I think they're socks. Or puppets. Okay, they might be puppets. Doesn't say. Whoa. Crazy. Yeah, I feel like everyone here is very tall. But shout out to the shorties. All socks are puppets. This is true, actually. Good call. Good call. I think we're getting to the end, guys. Okay, good, good. I think they're puppets, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, actually, I think this is the end. Okay, all right. I think, wait, I better, I better be sure. Oh no, I think there's, no, I already got that one. Okay, I think that's the end. I have another large package but it's extremely large. You mentioned you were a Mass Effect fan. I'm a huge Mass Effect fan. Any plans for a gaming channel? Uh, yeah, I mean, I I would like to stream some gaming uh, sometime. Not sure how many people would be interested in that. I'm very terrible at video games. Like, I'm very bad. I sent another for sure. I went to the post office uh, mid last week, so if you send something after or that I didn't get, it's possible it's still in the mail. Okay, I'm just taking a quick cake break. Pretty good. How did I get into the reactor biz? Well, over the pandemic, I watched a lot of reactions, but only to movies that I'd already seen. Like I watched a bunch of Jurassic Park reactions because I love it. Um, and then I started to realize how many, like of the most classic movies that I hadn't seen. Cause there were so many reactions I couldn't watch cause I hadn't seen them. Aliens and Terminator and all of these. Uh, so I was like, maybe I should, maybe I should try, try my own hand at it so yeah that's kind of how but i started watching them so what kind of cake is it vanilla being bad at video games hasn't stopped any other streamer fair enough I i've heard that if you're bad enough people will come just to be amused at how terrible you are so that could be a plus for me uh thanks master bodo and Zanzibar White, happy birthday. Congratulations on 70K. Thank you to everyone for helping me get to 70K. That sounds crazy. For comics, I'd recommend looking into Marvel Unlimited, Miami Vice. Hmm. I would like to read some Marvel. I think that'd be good. All right. Mm. Let's stop this poll. So it looks like it's Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I like it. Okay, I'm going to set up then the last poll will be like the finals poll. Give me two seconds. Set that up. Okay. Finals poll. Ooh, my computer is so hot. Um, Harold and Kumar. Fast times at 
orange. Not black. I'd be happy with either one of those. I think that'd be a really fun watch. All right, I think, I think I've done it. I think I've done it. One quick check on my, I don't wanna get like lipstick all over my, my teeth, you know? Okay. Can everybody see the poll? Yes, okay, good, we're good. Okay. Thank you, Randy. We're waiting for the ghost and tat tattoo stories. Maybe on the next live stream, I'll tell another one. You got my snake story already. Okay. It does look like Fast Times at Ridgemont High is gonna win this one. That's great. I, I would like to see that one too, so. Yeah, 420 means, you know, I would smoke a little before before I watch. I probably would edit that out for YouTube because you're not really supposed to show that. I've heard some channels have gotten in trouble for that. Uh, so, but on Patreon, I have smoked in a couple. I think I smoked in The Big Lebowski and something else, I think. Thank you guys, I'm 70,000 years old today, you know. Watch both of them. Yeah, I mean, I, so whenever I do polls, uh, especially, uh, I mean, I never put anything on a poll that I don't want to see myself that's not on my movies list. So if it doesn't win a poll, it'll be back on another poll or I might just choose to watch it. Um, okay, let me see. If I have nightmares, I'm blaming you about the snake, right? It's, it's unsettling. It's not like horrifying, but it's unsettling, man. I don't like that at all collab with Mr. Video. Mr. Video was one of the guys I watched a lot before I started. I thought he was so cool and just super chill and just made me realize like it, you can just like chill out and have a good time. Okay. Okay. I'm enjoying this. I'm going to take a look at what's coming up next week. I haven't actually finalized. Sorry about the glare on my glasses. I haven't actually finalized what I'm doing this coming week on Patreon yet, but I know for sure I'm gonna put up the Enforcer, which is the third Dirty Harry movie. Um, and I've actually already watched that one. It's already at my editors uh, and I liked it. And, oh yes, and then we're also gonna do, on Patreon we're gonna do The Last Starfighter, which just won the Patreon poll last week. And then I'm gonna think tonight, I'm gonna do a little thinking and choose the, choose the third movie for this coming week myself. Uh, and then on YouTube this week, we have Gattaca, Ronin, and The Naked Gun 2. Which, I don't know, I was like, I had so much fun watching The Naked Gun 2. I don't know why, I've been watching lots of comedies, but that one just, I was having a day where I just, I was feeling silly already, so I was just giggling through the whole thing. So funny. A question, have you ever tried contact lenses? Yeah, I wore contact lenses all through high school. Uh, I don't mind them at all. I, I actually think I look cooler with glasses on. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like I have kind of a plain face without them. Uh, but I do, I do really want to get laser eye surgery. I've been thinking about it for uh, many years. Uh, I'd probably have to take a week off of doing this, so I need to get a little ahead. But uh, if any of you guys have had laser eye surgery and can tell me that it's not too scary. I really, really want to do it because I have terrible vision. Uh, just so bad. And just the older I get, the worse it is. And I would love to fix my eyes if uh, I'm able to do that. So I'm in a great place for the eclipse tomorrow. I've heard that. Oh, hey. My dad's calling me. I won't answer it, but hey, dad. I'll have to call you later. Um, all right. I like the big rimmed frames. I do too, I like the big rimmed frames. I think it just kind of gives me a little more flavor than my plain face. But I don't know, if I got laser eye surgery, I might still wear glasses, they just probably wouldn't have prescription in them. Laser eye surgery was the best money I ever spent in my life, would do it again a thousand out of a thousand times. I've heard, Okay, so I've heard that. Everyone I know who's got it was like, I don't regret it, I wish I did it 10 years earlier, so. There you go. I think I'm going to do it. I just kind of got to psych myself up to it. Eye stuff kind of freaks me out. So, yeah. 
but but I, yeah, I do love the glasses I think it's uh I think it's kind of my kind of my thing I I like glasses so I probably would keep the glasses I just would probably maybe I would pop the lenses out and just wear the frames so that you don't get so much like like sometimes when I look up at this light you get like that glare it's not great see like this it's not great so I gotta kind of remind myself not to look over here uh, but anyways make sure it's not lazy don't do it why Okay, trying to remember. Fast Times at Ridgemont High is winning the poll. That's good. I like it. I, I would watch either. It looks like it's it's pretty close. Pretty close poll. Okay, thanks to everybody who's been doing the super chats. I hope I didn't miss uh, too many of them. It's tricky. I've seen I, I've seen some live streams that some reactors especially have done just to kind of see like what the heck are they doing on there. I don't even know what people are doing on live streams. So I watched a few, but a lot of them have someone helping them off screen or someone with them in the video to like man the chat, which is like I could see how that would be helpful. Uh, favorite Bond villain? Well, it's got to be it's got to be number one, I think. I mean, there's a lot, but I think. Okay. Will I be watching more old classic movies? Uh, it's possible. I, they, I, I don't see a ton of uh, people asking for those on my channel. So, I mean, and I've seen a lot of old, old movies. I have a, um, a lot of people ask me to do like old musicals and stuff. I've seen a ton of them. That's like... One of the main reasons that I haven't seen a lot of new movies is because when we were kids, my sister and I just watched, like, Meet Me in St. Louis one million times. Uh, you know, so I've, I've seen a lot of the old movies. I'm not, not some of the classics, though. I really want to see To Kill a Mockingbird, 12 Angry Men, uh, a few of them, a few of the big ones. I mean, I feel like we watched a lot of musicals, especially, so, Yeah. Favorite Bond girl? That's tough. Money Penny, I think. Um, okay. Well, I'm glad we got those packages done. Oh, I forgot some. Okay, I'm an idiot. I knew there was more. All right, no, I thought this was an empty box. We're not done. There's, a, there's just a couple more. My bad, I'm sorry. Okay, there's more. I don't know who this one is from. There was no return address. Not gonna cut myself with a knife. Okay. It's something Star Trek. Okay. Ceramic mug. All right, let's see it. I'm I'm always nervous when I see like this looks kind of old. Am I supposed to open it? 1996. I think I can open it. Collectibles though. Ooh. <gasps> Whoa. All right, that's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. It's Worf. It's Worf. <laughs> I love this. This is too good. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> I could keep that out, right? I don't have to keep it in the box because you can't see it in the box. I would love to see more original Planet of the Apes. Yeah, okay, listen. I have put Beneath the Planet of the Apes on, like, probably... 20 polls because I really want to watch the rest of them but everyone says Beneath the Planet of the Apes sucks and I should skip it and go to the next one but I don't like to do that I don't like to skip stuff if it's a series I want to watch them all even if it's bad but nobody wants to watch that one so I'm kind of stuck I've been stuck ever since I watched the first one I immediately put Beneath the Planet of the Apes on the next poll because I wanted to keep going and no one wants to watch it so I think uh after I finish the rest of the Dirty Harry movies I was thinking of just powering through Beneath the Planet of the Apes and then watching the rest of them. 
I think that's kind of my rough plan. No promises, uh, but it is on my radar because I want to see the rest of the Planet of the Apes movies. I want to watch the new ones as well, but A, a lot of channels have done them recently, and B, I want to watch the old ones first. So I think... I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do it, and you guys, I hope, will just watch beneath Planet of the Apes. Just watch it. Just watch it with me. Maybe it'll be sucky. Maybe all the way through, I'll be like, "You guys were right. It stinks." Oh, okay, there's still more. Do I have a thing for Klingons? I don't know. Uh, I love. I love Worf. I love Worf. It's my channel, do what I want. I know, I know, but there, so I, I get that comment a lot. You know, it's your channel, just watch whatever you want. Fair enough, but you know, if there's not enough people that want to watch movies here with me, I can just watch those movies on my own. The reason I'm doing these movies with you guys is because I want to watch them with you guys. If I post a video and like, you know, a hundred people watch it out of 70K, it just, it feels crappy. <laughs> All right, there's more. No addresses, no addresses. It's from Randy, there's a letter. We'll read Latro. Trying to keep my eye on the chat. A bad movie can still make for a good reaction. I agree. But I do think, I, I see a lot of, uh, so I'll, I'll put a movie up and some of the movies I already know people don't really like and they'll get a lot of thumbs down, which actually isn't bad for the channel. Even when you thumbs down a movie or a video, it still actually helps the video. Any kind of interaction helps. So it's no big deal, but I can always tell the movies that people don't like. And I know that they don't watch the video. They just thumbs down immediately because they don't like the movie, regardless of whether they like me or my channel or anything like that. They just thumbs it down because they hate the movie. Uh, so that's what it is. Oh, have I already? I've, I've already read the card. Hey, oh, oh, it's Turtle. So much good Star Trek stuff. I love Data. I love Data. I love Worf. This isn't too loud. Wow! Oh my god, it's like, okay, this is, I, there's nothing on either cover, but it's like the old, can you see? It's the old Wonder Woman. It looks like the original Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman comic. Cool! Oh my god, that new book smell. Except it's got that old book smell. I never noticed any thumbs down. You guys can't see the thumbs down. It doesn't show them on YouTube anymore. So cool. Maybe I'll start my comic journey with original Wonder Woman. All right. Hold on. Ooh. It's Riker. I do love Riker too. I like them all. I hate choosing. I don't want to rank anybody. This is like limited edition. This seems expensive. Yeah, look, Certificate of Authenticity. Do I record multiple reactions in a day? Not always. Sometimes I sit down and just film one thing. Uh, but I've been finding that it it is better, like, schedule-wise, usually. I can, I like to, once I'm in a filming mood and I have everything set up, if I'm 
if I have the energy for it, I have been lately filming two movies at a time. Please cut away from yourself, huh? Well, I got a lot of cool stuff today, guys. I appreciate everybody who sent me something. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm just putting on my blanket because I'm cold. All right. Okay. I think I'm going to end this poll and we're going to call it Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Okay, decision made. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I'll watch that one. Uh, hmm, I'll probably watch it on, maybe I'll watch that one on this, this week on Patreon and next week on YouTube. Well, we'll see where it fits in, but I'll watch it around 420. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. The gifts look beautiful. I agree. So many good gifts. And Mr. A, I know you sent me something. I'm gonna open it after I finish this. This is so sweet. Okay. I'm sending you a solar eclipse for your birthday. Thank you. Mm. Sorry, I'm just having a moment with this cake. Hey, Frick. Whew. So sweet. There's an ad on that forces YouTube to show you the thumbs down. For example, this video has seven downvotes. Cool. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Anyways, one of the things about being on YouTube is you're going to get, you're going to get grumpy people and people who hate you. And that's just the way it is. So no big deal. Uh, you know, I don't know if everybody knows that, but even if you thumbs down a video or even if you leave a rude comment, uh, it, it just helps the video. So I always kind of giggle to myself when somebody leaves me a really mean comment because I'm just like, thanks, you just helped the video. That's all I can do, right? Mm. Thanks, John. Are there any new movies you've seen advertised that you are really interested in? Yes. And actually, that's it's sort of a a weird thing. Like I don't I don't do that many new movies at all on my channel cuz to be honest, they they don't really do that well. It seems like not that many people want to watch anything new. Almost every new-ish movie that I've done has been pretty low. Uh so which is fine, again, but it's just one of those things, like, maybe I should just watch those on my own. But it makes me wonder about, like, the longevity of the channel. Because there's only so many old movies that I could do. I mean, I need to be able to watch new things, too. So I probably will start peppering in some newer things. Because uh, I'm interested in lots of stuff, old and new. Um, and just kind of hope that you guys will stick with me and try some, try some new things with me, too, every now and then. Just so we can keep the channel going in the future that would be good um but i really want to see dune second dune uh i, w I do want to see oppenheimer and barbie um i mean a lot of the oscar movies i don't know how popular they would be i i, I want to see poor things um i i do i really want to watch uh, a couple of netflix shows too that seem really cool You'll never run out of movies. No, but I mean, it would be nice to, to be able to do new movies too and have some interest in those. Uh, yeah, I know that there, you're right. There, there are probably a million old movies, but not that will allow me to run this channel kind of thing. Uh, 
the house uh the haunting of hill house i saw that one it's on my channel uh oh yeah the new mission impossible i do want to see that too although people really don't want to watch reactions to that as far as i could tell um oppenheimer's good yeah arcane i know i haven't done well anime is tough and i know you guys most of you guys know like lots of channels have so many problems with anime i mean v Cunha's original channel was shut down because of anime so i'm like nervous to do any anime uh but is arcane anime i'm just now thinking Hmm. Am I in a jail cell where I can't watch all these famous movies? No, but I do think I do think it's funny that I get that question a lot. Like, how could you not have seen all these movies? But like, as a nine-year-old girl, I didn't have any interest in watching like Rambo. You know what I mean? Like, that just didn't appeal to me. I mean, Aliens seemed crazy scary. There's no way I was gonna watch that as a nine-year-old, right? So, I think people forget like to imagine me as scared as I get now imagine me younger as a child would I have wanted to watch Terminator no I had zero interest in watching Terminator that's why I never watched it uh but you know I'm happy to watch all these movies now and I have found that I do like them although I don't think I would have liked them if I'd watched them when I was younger uh it just wasn't my thing I watched a lot of musicals and yeah like old-timey movies and I watched my favorite movies over and over I watched Jurassic Park one billion times uh, but yeah, yeah, I just think, I just think sometimes people forget, like, just because you were a kid and you wanted to watch Terminator doesn't mean I wanted to watch Terminator. I had, I had less than zero interest in watching Terminator. I'm sure, like, my dad watched it, but I, I would have said, like, no thanks, dad. No, no thank you. I'll just go watch another musical. Who invented the concept of movie reactions in the first place? That's a great question, and I wonder who did, like, the first movie reactions. Some reaction channels are, like, seven years old, so it's been going for a long time. <laughs> See, my sister, Tara tunes in. I can confirm Jen and I did not watch anything scary, action-packed, or sporty. We watched the same 20 movies over and over again. Yes, this is our childhood. We just... And actually, I read recently that uh, people with anxiety tend to watch the same movies over and over again or their favorite movies over and over because they know how it's going to end and it's it makes them feel comforted so I feel like there was an element of that I was a fairly anxious child uh, huh. what musical instruments do I play I, I'm not great uh, but I play piano I play guitar and all through school, I played clarinet in the band, in the orchestra. And my sister played the flute. And we were in the band together. And it was great. It was awesome. And that's probably where our love of music originated. And yes, I didn't mean to say that only people with anxiety watch the same movies over and over. That's not fair. But I mean, I feel like that is a factor in why I would have watched the same movies over and over. I think it was a bit of a nervous child and yeah make sure you check out my sister's channel uh as well you can put a link in there tara if you want and thanks for being here um but yeah my sister also has a a a, a reaction channel she's not posting right now but she has posted a bunch of videos and we did we've done a few videos together now there's a few on my channel and there is there's two on her channel we did armageddon and A Quiet Place, is that right? On my sister's channel, so check those ones out. If you like, and her other one, she did some great ones over there. Uh, my ex-wife is a flautist. I like the word flautist, I think it's cool. Oh. I'm just reading the chat, making sure I didn't miss. I'm, I'm positive that I've missed uh, some of you guys. So maybe one of these times I'll try a live stream and I'll get uh, get my sister to come down and she can man the chat and I'll be a bit more likely to get all the chats. If she's not busy, she's a busy lady. Oh yeah, we did do Beetlejuice. We did, so we did Beetlejuice on my channel, me and my sister. We did Deep Impact and we did the Muppets. Christmas Carol. 
I think that's it. I think those are the ones we did. Yeah, there's her, there's her link if you want to check it out. Um, and as well, I wanted to put another link in here. Why do Canadians get milk in bags? I don't know, and it, it weirds me out. I don't get it. I don't understand why. It is so weird. Why would you put a liquid in a bag? It makes no sense. And then we have to get these plastic pitchers to put the bag in. It's so stupid. Anyways, random question, random answer. Why are so many reactors Canadian? I don't know, but I have heard that. Hey, Jen, did anyone explain why Waterworld was a flop? They basically filmed the movie twice. So they had to build the sets twice. Yeah, so I heard that for the movie Waterworld, I just heard, I just heard from people that it was quite a flop. But apparently since then it's made its money back. But like at the time in theaters, it was considered like a box office bomb. I think. This is my understanding. Um but yes, it did make its money back over time. It's not technically a flop anymore. But I did hear that so they have that crazy set on the water that they like jump into and stuff. But there was a tropical storm that like ruined it and they had to build it a second time and that's why the budget was all shot to heck. What else is there to do in Canada? Ah, uh, depends on the weather, man. Depends on the weather. Pretty much. When will you get back to the boys? I do want to see the boys season three. I put it on a poll. Before I started Star Trek, it was, do you guys want to finish the boys or do you want to watch something new? And everybody said, nope, I'm, we're finished with the boys. Let's start something new. And then we voted for Star Trek. So that's what happened there. Uh, and I'm going to finish Star Trek now that I've started it. Uh, but I do want to see the boys. Is there season four? Is it already out? I would like to finish season four. Um, season three. I would like to finish season three. The first two seasons, I believe, are on my channel. Or if not, they're on Patreon. Season one is for sure. Um, and I have another, uh, I have a British show, a show from the UK that I have finished the first season. It's only six episodes. You know, the UK shows are always so short. That's why it's just a, it's a sitcom. I'm not going to say what it is. It's a surprise, but I'm going to drop it on Patreon soon. I just filmed a quick six episodes and I had some beers and it was super funny. So I'm going to drop that one really soon. It's not Doctor Who. No, it's just six episodes. Uh, but Fleabag, I do want to see. Oh man, Galaxy Quest. Yeah, so I watched Galaxy Quest so long ago i think i watched it in my old house before i moved i'm pretty sure and i liked it i thought it was really funny especially uh is it sam rockwell and is it alan rickman am i nuts okay okay i can barely remember it now which is crazy i have such a bad memory uh but i do kind of wish i waited and i didn't know i was gonna watch any star trek really i thought i was i i had looked at star trek and at that time i was like no way there's too much of it there's no way i can do all of it so i just watched it i thought it was really funny but i do think i probably would have gotten more out of it but maybe sometime i'll do like a live stream watch along when we're done with star trek tng it is alan rickman is that right okay all right i'm not crazy it is him. Yes. Okay. But I do remember, I thought it was so funny, uh, but I do wonder if I would get more out of it. So maybe we'll do like a watch along. Um, Jen has three kids. No, I do not. I don't have any kids. There are so many shows that I want to watch. I do, I do really want to watch uh, Battlestar Galactica, but I've also heard that a lot of other channels are watching it right now or are going to start it right now. So and we're in the middle of TNG, so. Um, yeah, so I just did something like I did on Patreon right now. I put Seinfeld up. The full length and the YouTube cut is already up. Just season one, which I think has five episodes, I want to say. Five or six. It's very, very short. Uh, so that is on there. And then I watched a surprise UK show that's going to come soon. Uh, but yeah, I've just been kind of throwing in like sitcoms and things that aren't sci-fi 
uh, just to mix up the genres a little bit. Supposedly reaction channels started in Japan around 2010. Crazy. I didn't know that. Interesting. Very interesting. I can't see any numbers at all. How many people are in the chat right now? I wonder, can I see? Four? 400? Something like that? 500? I don't know. I can't quite see. I can't see all the numbers, but I appreciate all you guys chilling with me and being here on my birthday. Oh yeah, I did. So I did do a reaction to Fargo uh, season one, which I loved, but I never brought it to YouTube. So I will do that sometime this year. Um, I will bring Fargo because I thought it was great and I actually would really like to watch more of it. Thanks, Derek. Happy birthday. We need more Bond. I wish there was more Bond. I already said that I miss Bond so much and it was cool knowing like I think near the end there, I was doing a Bond movie every other week. So I just knew like the Wednesday movie every other week is going to be a Bond movie. And it was just nice to kind of have that steady schedule. I miss them. I love the Bond movies more than I thought I would. I really do. I hope you're having a nice birthday so far. I am. This is a great birthday. Champagne, cake, presents. Classic, classic birthday. Fargo 2 and 3 were even better. Yeah, I've heard that the other seasons of Fargo are really great. I do want to watch more Fargo. That was on the poll too, though. After I, after we watched season 2 of The Boys, I believe, and then we voted on a new show, and Fargo was on there, but TNJ won it, or, yeah, Star Trek won it in a landslide. So, streaming two hours now, it's flown by. Okay. Agreed. Two hours, woohoo! Okay, that's good. I actually, I mean, I, I don't have anything else to do. We've got a movie set. We, we did the poll. I opened all the gifts. I've eaten cake, I've had champagne. I feel like, I feel like it, we've got, we've, we've accomplished a lot here. Just double checking some of the chats. Are you a full-time content creator at this point? Yes, actually I am, uh, which is great and I really appreciate it. Uh, I definitely wouldn't be able to put up five videos every single week if I was still at my old job, which was running a restaurant. Um, but it, it was good timing because just as this channel started to take off in a way that like, I was like, if I put out more videos, I can probably, I can probably make this work. Um, it, just as that was happening, the restaurant was gonna close down, Not not my doing. Uh, but so it was a, a, a good time to leave actually. And I just wanted to see if, uh, if I could make, make a go of this and so far so good, which is good. Um, because yeah, like I said, I, I feel like if I was still working, I could maybe put up one video a week, maybe one, and it might be every other week just cause I wouldn't be able to, uh, have editors and I'd have to do the editing myself again, which is probably... Yeah, I would, it would probably be one video every other week if I was still working. So anyways, yes, I'm doing this now and it's awesome. And uh, I do want to look at more. I, I mean, I've gotten some ideas from people of other things we can be doing as well. Yeah, more live streaming, maybe some gaming. Uh, you know, maybe I'll do some merch or something. If somebody if anybody wants that, I get I get a few comments on that. Um. <laughs> Did I manage an Italian restaurant? Yes, that's why I like Prosecco. Yeah, it was a lovely, I've managed a few restaurants, um, but you know, the pandemic was hard on all restaurants, oh, all businesses, let's say. Um, so yeah, it was just like, it's just the way it is. Um, <laughs> pardon me. I love all the, the birthday guesses. I told you guys I'm 70,000 years old today, so. If you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. Yes, that's true. I mean, these channels are 
there there's a lot of uh like work there, there's a lot of things to do um but none of it is none of it is like I enjoy all of it I should say I mean it's such a cool thing to do and I I'm loving watching the movies and and I I get to chat with so many cool people and yeah it's just I'm having a great time as long as you guys want to watch movies with me I will keep watching them I I'm having such a cool time such a cool time Jen with Vulcan ears would be cool on a shirt right actually though oh can I say okay let's let me preface this hardcore by saying <coughs> pardon me I love TNG so much I love the next generation so much but I just want to say I wish there was a Vulcan in it I really miss like I miss it I miss I miss Spock I really do bow tie champagne fat stacks yeah oh my gosh it's so funny I have a uh... okay I moved all my stuff but I had so I have the the bow tie prop I've got these stacks and stacks which are fake they're fake 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 although they look so real let me show you they just say like prop money but like look how real that looks that looks so real, right? Anyways, I always have to say these are fake when I hold them up in a video now because I would get so many comments saying that's so rude of you to flaunt your wealth. And I'm like, it's just fake. And then also, whenever I wear the bow tie, I always get a few, at least a few comments that say, you've seen this before. Otherwise, how would you know to wear a bow tie? So it, it's so funny. It's just so funny. But once again, whenever I get any kind of comments that are any crappiness level uh I just think haha you just helped my video thanks dummy like I don't know that's all you could really say but why is it not Canadian fake money well our money already looks fake have you seen Canadian money it looks so fake our ten dollar bill is purple that's so weird I think American money looks way cooler well I don't know our money's it looks cool and it, it feels like plastic but American money just looks like, it looks like when I think of stacks and stacks, I'm thinking of American money. I'm not thinking of Canadian money. The, the $50 bill is red. It's so weird. Anyways, uh, but yeah, some people do ask me how come I don't dress up in my videos anymore. And in my early videos, I used to, I, what I would do is Google like Indiana Jones costume. And then I would try and wear something similar. You know what I mean? Like just before I watched the movie. Uh, but a lot of people would be like, how did you know to wear that if you haven't seen the movie? And I'm like, what? Google. But anyways. Anyways, so I stopped doing that because I was just like, people don't get it, man. They just don't get it. Uh, anyways. A purple $10 bill, that's a riot. I know, right? It looks crazy. Like, our money looks crazy. Although I do like it because, like I said, it's it's like plasticky. Like, you, it's hard to rip. It, if you get it wet, it doesn't matter. It's good for, like, longevity. And actually, it, it is helpful, like, if you're counting out money. 50s red, 20s green, uh, 10 is purple, 5 is blue. Like, like visually it's helpful, but it just does. It's not what I'm thinking of when I'm thinking of stacks and stacks. They're the green American monies. I don't even think I have any real American money. They do not get it. Oh yeah, the hundred dollar bills are brown. It's weird, man. That's that's as far as I know. But yeah, our money is crazy. Look up Canadian money. It's really weird. And it's got like a clear part. I don't even I don't even have any physical cash. I just use my card now for everything. But it's got like a clear part that you can see through with like a hologram. So you can tell if it's fake. It's cool. I do think our money is cool. But it's not stacks and stacks. Okay. Canadian money is not made for stacks and stacks. Mm -mm. What if you're colorblind? Oh, good point. Yeah, if you're colorblind, this will not help you. It still says 20 on it. Is King Charles on your money? Not yet, but I've heard that we're going to be getting new money. The queen is still on all of our money. Well, no, the queen is on the 20. And then some other, like, I know she's on the 20. Oh, my God. It's been so long since I handled actual money, actually. Have I ever been to Europe? No. I would love to go, though. I've been to South America. I've been to New Zealand. I've been to the States. 
but yeah no I've never been to Europe and I would really love to go really 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 I, I feel like everyone has to go at some point does Queen Elizabeth appear on Canadian money yeah she does she does she does we need Jen's face on the hundred dollar right with the glasses you need to react to more Jim Carrey. I agree. I have a lot of Jim Carrey on my list. I keep, okay, I keep putting Dumb and Dumber on the schedule. Like almost every week I put it on and then I, I sub something else in for it. I'm just like, I don't know. I, I just keep pushing it. I'm going to watch it though. And I especially want to watch it because I watched Pleasantville recently with Jeff Daniels, who I just thought was so wonderful in that movie. I really loved him. He was maybe my favorite part. But yeah. So, I want to watch more Jim Carrey. Dumb and Dumber is like a must. Uh, I also want to see The Truman Show. Um, come to England, your accent is superb. I have heard mixed mixed opinions on my accent. I get a lot of comments like, please never do that accent ever again. It is so insulting. Uh, but didn't you go to South America? Yeah, yeah, I went to, I went to Peru. Uh, Jeff Daniels is very charming. Agreed. I love him. I don't know what other movies he's really done. Dumb and Dumber, though. I want to see because I'm dying to see him do like some comedy comedy. I want to see those skills. But I did see him in Arachnophobia, which was, I mean, I don't think he was doing a ton of big acting in that. That was just like a, it, that one's like a silly horror movie to me. The mask, yeah. Mm -hmm. Just reading some of the chats here. People get insulted by the dumbest things. Ah, yeah, it's true. But like I said, all you could do when you're a creator, a YouTuber or whatever, any kind of social media really, you just have to laugh at them people leaving crazy comments just because they're just helping you I don't I feel like I wish I want to just respond and say like you know you're helping me by commenting right you realize this hello but I don't want to respond to them I, they're not even worth my time have you seen Batman the animated series not like in totality uh but that was pretty much my exposure to Batman before I did any of the movies uh when I was I feel like when I was babysitting when I was like 12 the cartoon was always on if that's the one you mean the cartoon from like the 90s 2000s i don't know watch argo with ben affleck uh that one has been on a few polls like i keep putting it on because i really want to watch it uh and i think it was close in one recently so hmm. but like i said anything that is on a poll that i do it, it's just from my own list i mean i get suggestions but I get so many suggestions. I, I mean, I have a I have a request site, um, which is in my about section on YouTube. That's where all my links are. Uh, so it is there. I have my request site, but so I, I use that quite a bit now when I'm making polls because it's helpful. But still, even if if there's a request there that I'm just not interested in, I'm not going to put it on a poll. I only poll things that I want to see. So uh, that being said, though, you know, if there's if there's a lot of votes for a movie that I don't even know what it is. I mean, let's take Ronin, for example. There was quite a few votes for it. Um, so I put it on a poll and it won the poll. I never even heard of it. I don't know what it is. Or I didn't, I should say, I didn't know what it is. Uh, so, yeah, so I put it on the poll, it won. And so I watched it and I'm glad I did. It was really good. Um, and that'll be on YouTube this week. It's already on Patreon. Um... just checking things out here what side of the road do you drive on in Canada <laughs> the right side have you ever considered ASMR I well people tell me all the time I should do ASMR but that's a whole that's a, like a whole other niche uh, of a channel I would need to sort of look into that uh, not opposed to it I don't really know I I don't really I've seen the channels I know what they are um I don't I mean no immediate plans to do that but I do get that comment quite a bit though 
You should do a poll uh, of movies from the year you were born. Is that just so you guys can figure out how old I am? I already told you. I'm 70,000. Have you seen Rise of the Planet of the Apes? No, I haven't seen any of the new Planet of the Apes at all. Uh, and I do want to watch them, but I want to see the old Planet of the Apes first. Uh, and I saw number one, it's on my channel, and it blew me away. It was so good. It was so good that I keep trying to watch more, but nobody seems to want to watch Beneath the Planet of the Apes with me. So like I said, I'm going to finish up Dirty Harry, I think. I'll watch all of those because uh, I like them. And... Uh, then I might do The Planet of the Apes, I think. Are you going to watch the rest of the Fast and the Furious movies? Uh, are you going to watch the Fast and the Furious? So I watched the first three Fast and the Furious movies. They're on my channel. I did Fast and the Furious, Too Fast, Too Furious, and Tokyo Drift. They're all on my channel. Again, I'm not opposed to it. I often do polls on Patreon that are like, which franchise should we continue? And I go through because I've started quite a few franchises and haven't finished them. Um... So, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, at some point I'm going to, I'm going to do all the movies, right? Like that, uh, that I've started, I would like to finish them for sure. Uh, any of the Marvel movies. So I've, the thing about the Marvels is like, I, I, I've seen them in passing, meaning like I watched Iron Man, I think once while I was babysitting, you know what I mean? Like I didn't sit down and watch it, but like it was on. So I feel, feels a little bit like I would need to call it a rewatch because it's not, I know what it is, um, but I don't know. I couldn't tell you who the bad guy is though. Couldn't tell you what the plot is for the most part. I know he builds the suit, that's it. But you know what I mean? Th this is kind of my exposure to most of the Marvel movies is like I was at someone's house and Endgame was on. So like, I've seen some scenes from it. Um, but I would like to sit down and watch, watch them, like watch them for real and take it all in. That would be nice. But I just feel like it would be a little bit cheating to say that it's a first time watch because it's technically not. But again, like, I don't know, I couldn't tell you who, like the plot of most of them for sure. And I know I didn't watch some of them. Someone was talking to me about Guardians of the Galaxy and I, or number two or something and I, I just I don't if I've seen that one I don't recall it at all anyways it just feels a little disingenuous to say like first time watching Marvel when like I've they've been around um you know what I mean so but I I wish I could I mean I have I don't really have any of the big reactor franchises on my channel for the most part uh I have the original Star Wars, but I didn't even finish into the new ones, which I know most of you guys don't want me to. Uh, I, get, I get it. But, like, I haven't done Lord of the Rings. I haven't done Harry Potter. I haven't done Marvel. And those are, like, the standard. When you start a reaction channel, you do those, and that's how you get your audience. That's it. Um, but I haven't done any of those. So... You could give a brief disclaimer before the Marvel reaction. You'd still be surprised if the videos would do well. It's possible. It is. It's possible. Um, I don't think that would really be cheating. Yeah, I mean, like I said, like, I, again, someone was talking to me about the first Avengers movie, and they were like, can you tell me who the villain is? And I do not know. I don't know who the villain is. But I feel like I've probably seen some of it. But anyways, I feel like maybe down the line, uh, when I've gone through a lot of movies that I've never seen, at some point we'll get to... We'll get to those, and I, I might do a a rewatch and a rewatch technically, kind of. Even though I don't know who the villain is in the first Avengers, no idea. So there you go. It, I'm I'm fuzzy on them at best. Uh, Lord of the Rings extended version I've never seen. I've seen the theatrical cuts. I saw them once each in the theater when they came out. I've never seen them since, and I never saw the extended cut. So I would like to see. The extended cut and it's been I, I didn't even realize it's been like 20 years since they came out in the theaters so yeah do star trek reactions get good numbers hmm. they're okay they're all right um and you know it's not all about the numbers i i watch stuff because i want to see it because i have a good time watching it but the thing is when 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 youtubers talk about the numbers it's just because we have to, or if we're working with editors, 
it has to be worth it so that the amount that I pay to make the video, it has to pay for itself. Otherwise, I'm losing money. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's that's all we're mean by that. Um, so the Trek videos are, they're doing okay. They're all right. How about a rewatch of your top five Bond films? Uh, oh God. I mean, I meant to do a live stream, let's get real, uh, when I finished the Bond videos, which was I think last year sometime. And I just didn't, I was just too nervous. I was just too nervous to do a live stream, really. Uh, I just didn't, th I really didn't think my internet would, would work out here, but here we are. So it's working. So at some point I do have to, to do like a Bond ranking. Yes. What was the last movie you saw in the theater? Uh, um, I don't even know. It's been so long. Um, I have no idea. I would have to think. I don't, I, I don't, it's been like years since I've been to the theater. How are you liking the live stream now? It's great. And now I feel great. I feel like I could do this, you know, and not, not worry so much about it. I just, I had no idea if I'd be able to set it up, so. Oh, hey. Mr. Lack Soul. Thank you. I drew your pets a while back. Awesome. Yes. Thank you. Kick-Ass is the best superhero movie ever made. I would like to see that one. Time to go back to the theater experience. That's the thing, though, about doing reaction. Uh, I don't, I mean, I wanted to go see Mission Impossible in the theater. I wanted to see Dune 2, but then I can't do reactions to them. And I've looked into, like, renting a theater. I, it, but it's, like, where I live, they don't, they don't do that here. It's not a thing. Uh, they, they don't, they just, it's not available. As far as I could tell, like, in a four-hour radius around me, none of them do it. Uh, and I don't know if it would be possible for me to do that. I'm not really at that size yet, you know what I mean, where I can be renting out theaters. Um, but yeah, I, I do miss movies in the theater, but that being said, I have a great time doing these reactions, and I like watching movies the way I do. It's hard for you guys to see, but like I have a big TV, and I'm watching it on headphones, which I'm loving. So, did a great job streaming. Thanks! Why you live off in the woods? <laughs> uh, I don't know. We we moved to the to the woods before in my last house. I was in, like dead center in the middle of the city, and it was a nice place. I liked my house. We had a little yard for the dog, so it was okay. It was working, but it was a little dangerous. It was getting a little dangerous. Uh, cars, our cars were getting broken into, um, and you know we would go out in our yard, and there'd be like a hobo out there, which is you know. That is what it is, but it just, it was starting to feel a little unsafe. People in the neighborhood were getting their houses broken into, so we moved out of the city, um, and we're in the country now, so I, I love it out here. It's great, and there's way more room for, like, the dog. Um, the house is great. It's, you know, I got this, I got this great room here for doing the videos, which I love. I, it's, it's huge in here, so I, I have lots of room. Um, but yeah, the, the literal, the only downside out here is, uh, the internet is a little spotty, but I mean, it's been working. I The last time I did a live stream, I did one probably when I had 5,000 subs. I think I did one live stream and it stopped. There, it's three different videos, which I wound up unlisting uh, just because they were so bad because it stopped twice and I had to restart twice during the live stream. So I'm shocked that this has gone so well. Uh, but yeah, anyways, that's my story. This champagne has been excellent. I love the word hobo. It's not used enough. I, as soon as I said it, I was like, should I say hobo? That's kind of rude. Uh, I know you're not supposed to say that, but you, you know what I mean. Um, that guy's sick. Um, I'm just reading the, reading the comments here. I guess that's the hardest part for me. None of this is hard. This is great. And now that I know how to stream what how, what the setup is, I, I get it now. And this is totally possible. But the hardest part for me during this is 
well first of all i don't think i've looked at this camera once i think i'm looking over here so sorry about that um but it's it's trying to make sure i'm reading the chat but then still talking at the same time it's very weird uh, how about a new live stream for every further 10k yeah that would be great i mean i think i said at the beginning so i wanted to hit 70k by my birthday which we did Woohoo! so i think we should set the next goal 80k by independence day i think i think we can hit it i think that sounds good always love when you say idiots yeah i i i didn't even realize i was saying idiots in almost every reaction until there i don't know if he's here today but there is a guy who always uh i love his comments so much because he always tags he, it's just the the timestamp, and then he just writes idiots and he started doing that on all my videos and i was like oh my god i say idiots every time and now now i i've realized that i've done it but i i still just do it whenever someone is being an idiot at 100k you get the plaque yeah i i i i wonder i wonder if we'll hit 100k i mean eventually eventually someday i wonder if we'll hit it this year that would be cool It'd be cool to get that plaque because it really does like just as a youtuber it sort of makes you you're like legit not that i i mean i feel legit now but it's just one of those things sort of a, a little milestone i guess watership the original i don't know what that is oh thank you john just taking a look so many of you guys gave me a little tip. I appreciate it. I appreciate that so much. I've started saying commercial break because of you, right? I I do that in real life. I, so, like a lot of this stuff I feel like I just say, I say it even in real life. When I'm watching TV, I'm like commercial break. Like it's just, the, <laughs> it's just what I do. You don't need no stinking plaque to be legit. It's true. It's true. And I know that like it's not important. The YouTube plaque is not important. But again, it would be nice to have. It would be cool. It's one of those things to uh, it's such a weird job to have. It, you know, whenever anyone says like, oh, what do you do? And I'm, I just I've started saying I run a YouTube channel because people are a little bit more like oh that's cool i guess because uh, if you just say i'm a youtuber or like a content creator whatever the dumb words are people are like oh really like it just it just seems like i don't know people don't want to hear that what like so i've just started saying i run a youtube channel um can we please have a musical interlude from you on your next live stream I mean, I do have a piano over there. I haven't played it in a long time, though. Watership Down is great. Agreed. I haven't seen the movie yet. It's, a, it's animated, right? Uh, but I read the book. I read the book when I was a kid, and I read it every few summers because I love it so much. It's such a great book. Um, District 9 is excellent science fiction. Yes, so we just, on this past week... On Patreon, had a science fiction poll. District 9 was on there. It was mid-level votes, I think, uh, middle of the pack. Uh, but the winner was The Last Starfighter. So I'll be watching that on Patreon this week, YouTube the next week. Uh, the Secret of Nim was good. I, I haven't seen that one either. I believe that's also animated, but I did read the book as a kid. Loved it. What books do you read? I, I read lots of books. Uh, I go in waves. I feel like I, I'll read for like six months and then I'll take like a six month break and not read for a while. I, I don't know. I, I just get in like reading moods. I am reading right now though. Uh, and so I, I don't know if I want to say it because I'm reading something that I'm also going to be watching. I'm going to leave it as a surprise. Okay. But just know something that's coming soon to patreon i'm also reading because it's also a book series so that's all i'm gonna say that's it and on the poll last week so last starfighter was the winner but on every patreon poll i also do because i have a tier a top tier is like producers um and they're my biggest donors i guess and so they get to tell me a movie pick and i 
draw one every week and I put like a random, doesn't matter the genre, cause sometimes I do genres, but the producer pick is always random and I choose one every week and I put that on the poll. Um, so the producer pick last week, which was on the sci-fi poll, but it's not sci-fi, um, but it was Con Air and that got second place. So I will probably watch that one soon. Although I feel like a lot of other channels have done it recently, which I didn't realize. Um, so I might wait just a touch and then do Con Air, but Con Air got lots of votes. So I feel like people want to see it. It's not Fifty Shades of Grey, no. I don't know, is that any good? I, for some reason I'm not interested in that. It just doesn't appeal to me, but if you guys think it would be good, I guess we could watch that. Oh my God, I, I, so I meant to do it on April Fool's Day and I just didn't do it. Someone told me on April Fool's, okay, this has nothing to do with anything. This is random, but is this true? Someone told me on April Fool's, you have to do your April Fool's prank by noon or it, or you, you the window is closed. All pranks have to be done by noon. Is that true? Because I didn't realize that and I was gonna do a fake poll on Patreon of movies and it was gonna be like Magic Mike, Twilight, 27 dresses, like like movies that no one wants to see here, I, I don't think, uh, but I actually do wanna see. Um, but anyways, I didn't get it done by noon so then my partner was like, you can't post it, it's afternoon. So. Let me know if that's an actual thing. Settle, settle a dispute. Is true? It is? Pranks have to be done by noon? I have never heard this. You guys are blowing my mind. All right, I'm going to tell him that he was right. True, true, true. What? I think that's totally made up. I don't know. I've never heard that. But he was like, you can't post that poll. It was at like 3 in the afternoon. He's like, it's too late. You missed your window. Huh. Magic Mike rules, right? I would watch that. I would watch it. I feel like, I don't know. But anyways, that was going to be my my Patreon prank. But I didn't do it. Oh, lots of reactors fooled everyone thinking they were watching musical Cats. I've heard that so bad. And I love musicals, but I've heard that that is just awful. Okay. It seems 50-50 whether people think definitely true in the UK. Oh, yeah, maybe it's like a European thing. I'm going to, okay, I'm going to say half the people here think it's true and half don't. So fair enough because 50% of my household thought it was true. So there you go. Have I seen Little Shop of Horrors? No, because it, I, it's musical, right? Or I think it's a musical or based on a play, but I always thought it was like a super scary horror because of the title. But I, now I think it might be a comedy. I'm not sure. What was my favorite movie to react to? It's impossible. That, that's an impossible question, which I get all the time. It depends. And it depends on like my mood too, whether uh, occasionally I have scheduled something and I get to the day when I put it on my schedule to film and I just am like, I can't, I can't watch that. I won't enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like you guys get it. Uh, like, you know, you're supposed to watch a sci-fi and you sit down and you're like, I don't want to watch that. I want to watch a comedy. Like, you know what I mean? So, you know, it, it sort of feels the same way with which ones are my favorite. It depends on the day. It depends what my mood is. Mean Girls, Legally Blonde, Devil Wears Prada would work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's exactly it. By noon, everybody figures out it's April Fool's Day. Oh, well, that actually probably, that makes sense if that's what it is. A hundred percent. That is probably what it is. Do I have any horror movie memories that terrified you as a kid? Well, I already told one story on this channel about Candyman, so rewind and go listen to my Candyman story. Um, but yeah, that's basically the reason I don't like horror movies. It's because I watched Candyman and it traumatized me for life. Some reactors, you can tell when they're not into it. Yeah, that's fair. And I mean, I'm sure I've sat down and gotten into a movie and I'm like, oof, I'm not into this. But I mean, that doesn't happen that often though. But I, I'm more likely to, I'll swap it then. If I'm, if I want to watch a comedy and I can't pay attention to something serious, then I'm going to swap it and hope for the best, like schedule wise. Who do I like better, Data or Spock? You gotta be joking. I can't pick that. No way. But 
on my monthly roundup in January, I think, um, I did do my Star Trek Dream Crew, which included both Spock and Data. So there you go. I like both. No, I said it three times. So scared. What is my favorite book or author? Again, I don't know if I can choose. It's so hard. I would have to do, I would have to do like a tier ranking. That would be the only way even close. I could never pick like my number one book or movie or like music or band or anything of all time. That's just, that seems crazy to me. My brain will not work like that, but I could have like, my top tier of like a bunch of them and then like mid tier bottom tier maybe that baby is Gaddock any good it seems really boring I loved it I thought it was so cool but you know not probably probably not for everybody but I thought it was so cool what movie you reacted to that you disliked the most well you guys probably know in every time I sit down to watch something I, I'm looking for the best in it, um, and I try to have fun with whatever I'm watching, and I try to get into it. So, for the most part, that usually works for me. Um, although someone once said to me, if you love everything, no, if you, if you don't hate anything, then you don't love anything either. So, your reactions, you love everything, so therefore, you don't love everything kind of thing. But I don't, for me, that just doesn't feel true. Um, you know, and I like some things more than others, but... That being said, I, so I think maybe on my channel, probably horror is what I enjoy the least. Uh, and I think you could tell, like, if you look at me in The Exorcist, I'm not having a good time. I, I now, I'm happy I watched it. I think it was an experience, and I've seen it, and I can make my own opinion about it. So I'm happy about that. But, like, during it, I was not having fun. Um, but there is one movie that I was totally open about, and I was just like... I don't like this and it, it and it, it is uh the and like sorry if, if I'm offending you but it just I just was not feeling it it did not work for me and it was Casino Royale 1967 it just was a hot mess um and I appreciate it I appreciate like what it was trying to do and like what it meant at the time and all of that but just like for me I will that movie is a hot mess for me for me for me that's it that movie is oh it's a it's a train wreck of a movie Oof. Uh, thank you, Gabriel. A horror movie that terrified me as a kid growing up was Michael Myers. What's your favorite Disney movie of all time? Um, well, like I said, it's really hard for me to choose one. Although, that being said, okay, well, I, maybe I do have a favorite Disney because I think I said it in my recent reaction. The one that I watched the most probably as a kid was Robin Hood, the Disney movie. And I wanted to be Maid Marian and I would wear a pillowcase on my head and I wanted to be Maid Marian. Uh, yeah, so that, that might be my favorite Disney, but I love a lot of Disney. Um, you knew it was going to be Casino Royale? Yeah, I know. And I, like, I feel bad. I, I don't want it. I don't want to trash any movies or anything, and I'm not trashing it, um, but it just, if I had to choose the least favorite, I think that's it. Even more than the horror, I think. It just didn't work for me. It just wasn't there for me. I don't know. But I know I got a lot of uh, comments that a lot of people do love it, and they really love it, and fair enough. It just, uh, oh, oof, oof. Hot mess, hot mess. <coughs> Pardon me. Have you guys seen this? I think I got this the last time somebody sent me something. I don't care what happens in the movie as long as the dog lives. Isn't that the coolest and the truest? It's rubbish. Well, to each their own though. I mean, some people, there's somebody loves every movie, right? So. Do you love that you're getting more of the pop culture references? Yes, and actually, I find the more movies I watch, the more I understand movies in general, or 
something like that do you guys lick the candles is that nuts have i watched a uh, would i watch texas chainsaw massacre i i will probably at some point just because i'll run out of movies but i'm not looking forward to it i know that i have to do horror i know that and like i said it's an experience and i'm usually glad that i've seen them because a lot of the times even if it's a bad movie um i just want to see it and form my own opinion of it and be able to have to take part in the discussions like a lot of people i know i know a lot of people don't want me to watch the new star wars movies i get it i get it i get it um but i kind of want to watch them just so i can participate in the conversation that's that's some of the reason that i that i'm doing these uh, reactions because I, I like now i can now i can talk about it even if it's like yeah i also think they suck and here's why like at least i know what everyone's talking about um how much cake is left well i don't know if you can see but i've i've eaten quite a chunk of it i've eaten half this cake which is just sad really but it's okay How long before TNG movies and Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning? It's my understanding that I should go through all of the show before I watch the TNG movies, as far as I know. So that's probably what we'll do. Dead Reckoning. I'll have to see. I do want to see it. Yeah. Is this buttercream frosting? No, it's like, it's like, it's like a children's birthday cake. It's like the most sugary sugar, vanilla sugar. That's it. It's, I, it just tastes like childhood cake. I finished all that champagne too. My cake looks like my dog got into it. Agreed. I'm not doing a, like a. Well, I'm not eating it like politely. I'm just chowing down. Regular ass frosting. All right. I have the Brandon Roth Superman in the background. I thought it was just a generic one. Should I? I do. Okay. I also want to watch Superman 3, but I've heard that it's terrible. Nobody wants to watch it. Every time I put it on a poll, it comes like dead last. Do I have a dog? Yes, I have a dog. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that photo? That's my dog. That's my dog. Time to crack another bottle. I do have another, but uh, well, I'll save that one for next time, maybe. That is Brandon Roth. Oh, okay. Wait. Which, which Superman? Which Superman is he then? What? So, how many more? How many more Christopher Reeves are there? I've done Superman one and two, and I love them both. Even though a lot of people were like, two sucks so bad," but. I thought it was really fun, and the romance was way better in number two, for me. Anyway, I'm down for number three. It's stupid and fun, right? I like stupid and fun. I have a good time. Superman Returns is Brandon Roth. Ah. I love the room you're in, that wall. I know, right? When, uh, when we moved from the old place I was in to this place, this is kind of a, it's like a spare room off the house that I think they must have built for like a granny suite kind of or something like that. So it's just kind of connected by a hallway to the rest of the house. So yeah, we just kind of decided like this would be a good room for it. A, it's beautiful. And B, like then if something's going on, guests are in the house or whatever, I could still be out here doing whatever I'm doing and I you can't even hear anything. So it's great, it, it works perfectly. Superman 4 is the worst one. Oh. Hmm. Superman 3 has a different director and they turned it into a comedy. Yeah, I heard Richard Pryor's in it. Which, anyways, I love Christopher Reeve and he's 
still my favorite Superman. He might still be my, my all-time crush on the channel, I think, probably. Show us the ledge behind the bookshelf. Huh? So cozy, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm really lucky I have this room. It's very beautiful. I also edit in here, like I just sit off to the side over here. I've got like an armchair and I just do my editing and there's a big window. Oh, that's nice. I don't love your channel because of the reactions you do. I love your channel because of who you are. That's so sweet. I mean, I think it's kind of, when you start this kind of channel, it's sort of the, the dream scenario really is that people come back to spend time with you, like no matter what you're watching for the most part. Um, so that's kind of like the level that you would love to get to because people are coming back because they want to they chill with you. They want to just chill and hang out and watch whatever crazy movie you're watching and, and that's that. And that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, it doesn't really matter that much what movie we're watching. We're just chilling. We're hanging out. Sometimes I'm crying. Sometimes I'm laughing. I have to watch some Somewhere in Time. Yeah, yeah, that one is on my list. I wish that he did more movies, Christopher Reeve. I really love him. Is there a hidden vault behind the bookcase? For the heist proceeds. Ha. Huh. Maybe. I'm not going to say no. It, although, let's be honest, this does look like the kind of bookshelf where I could like tip down a book and then it would open. Don't you think? It looks really, it looks really primed. Now I kind of want to build one. Although, my dad, who is super cool, I have the coolest dad in the world. He, uh, he's the one that suggested that I watch Escape from New York on my channel, which I loved. Uh, and he like, he reminds me of Snake Plissken. He's basically my dad. Um, anyways, uh, he, he built in his house. Uh, he, he's a carpenter. Uh, and he built a hidden bookshelf in his house. And behind it is like a wine cellar. It's amazing. It, so it's no wonder that I am the way I am. Because that's what my dad is. I, I have a dad who is Snake Plissken with a hidden bookshelf lair. So there you go. A sex dungeon. Don't say that. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right, I'm just taking a speed through some of these super chats. I think I've, I think I got most of them. Does he have an eye patch? No, he doesn't have an eye patch, but basically he, he looks like that though. He really reminds me of Kurt Russell, but like with a beard. He's a carpenter, but he's also a sailor. He was a sailor for many years. All right. But yeah, I mean, you never know. I should, now I really want to build, and the bookcase would swing out, and then I could walk in behind, and it would be like a secret lair. Oh yeah, my sister just said our dad wants to start a YouTube channel. He does, he was talking to us about it. I, I think that would be so cool. He, I, I think he should do a music reaction channel. However, lots of people ask me to do those as well and uh, they're really tough. They're even tougher for copyright than movie channels, as far as I can tell. So they're very, very tough. But yeah, I think my dad would be, he would be a hoot on the internet. Oof, I would watch that. Weak bearded bastard, thank you. How do you find watching, oh, hold on. How do you find watching films while I, for me, it doesn't work. I find it hard to concentrate on what's happening. I agree. I almost never smoke. Uh, well, I, like I, I think I said earlier in the stream, I don't really drink or smoke that much anymore at all. Um, that's just me. I just have kind of phased it out. I'm more of a bubbly water fruit kind of girl um, if I'm having a snack and a treat. Uh, but um, I think I smoked a little bit for the Big Lebowski. Um, but yes, I agree. I, I don't think if I smoked, I would be able to really concentrate that much or, you know, occasionally I think I, it, when I do it, I think, um, I'd be, I'd be a lot more quiet. I think I'm more like in my head and, uh, it might just be like giggling quietly, you know, like maybe not saying a lot. Uh, but anyways, we're going to see because I am going to watch Fast Times at Ridgemont High. 
I might smoke a little. You might not see that on YouTube, but I will do that and you'll see it on Patreon. So we'll see how that goes. It's just sort of a, an experiment. We will see. But yeah, in general, I, I don't think I would want to smoke a lot watching movies. Nah. I just don't think it would bring out the best in a reaction, probably. For, like, especially if it's... If, first of all, if it's a horror movie, that's never going to happen. No. What a buzzkill for me. Um, maybe, like, a comedy. But if it's anything serious, no, no, no. Who are the reactors I watch? Movies and or music? Uh, I do watch a lot of... Re um, music reactions uh i really like you probably know her the charismatic voice i think she's so cool she's like an opera singer and she dissects like metal and other stuff too um but she's so good she's very i don't know i just i love her i think she's so cool um and like i said i i don't have a ton of time to watch reactions now and i tend to steer clear because i i haven't seen a lot of the movies that other reactors are watching um, but I do like to watch some movie reactions. I still always will, will throw on a Jurassic Park reaction. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, the big ones, the big ones, you know, we're, I think I've said before, I, we all love popcorn in bed. Uh, yeah, Movies with Mary, TBR, Cinebinge, Ashley, Vicuña. I mean, all the, all the classics, Dawn, Addie. Yeah, I like them all. Uh, I think a couple of Mr. Video and like Seb Screen are dude ones that I like. Um, but there's a lot. And also, I'm in a re uh, Discord with a lot of reactors now. Um, so I've checked out their channels too. And uh, it's really cool. It's a, like a, a chat channel on Discord. And there's like, there's probably a hundred channels in there now. Even the big ones. The big ones are all in there. And it's really cool. It's like a really cool community. And we're all helpful to each other. Yeah, Natalie, uh, you know, all, all the big ones I've I've seen. I've watched some of their stuff just to kind of get an idea what they're all about. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's a really cool thing to see all of the reactors helping each other. We trade advice on copyright and, and, you know, getting around those kind of issues. And we promote each other and we promote our videos in there and we talk about Patreon and you know, we bounce ideas off each other. We do talk about shows and movies we've watched already. It's cool. It's cool. It's just nice to see because you never know, you know, you start on YouTube and you just don't know. Uh, you, I mean, I just didn't, I just didn't know, like, if I reached out to any channels, would they just be like, no, you're the competition. But that's not the response I've gotten ever from any of them, uh, especially the ones in the, in the Discord that everybody's so nice and helpful. So that's so sweet, I think. It's just such a sweet sweet community really like it yeah you guys are you guys are right a lot of these are everybody's there's so many reaction channels now there's so many great ones um yeah i so nice so nice to see so helpful everyone just wants to help everybody else it's so nice no backstabbing exactly i mean it would be very easy for you know, if you reach out to a channel to ask a question uh, or like advice on something for them to be like, I'm not going to tell you. Um, oh, for instance, I like I didn't uh, I the channel Target Reaction is also going through all the, the TNG. Well, all the Star Trek, really. Um, so check them out. But I, I got in touch with them through the Discord um, to ask them how their copyright went with it before I started. And they were super helpful. They just were like, oh, we haven't had any issues, although they had a few now. But, we, you know, we traded advice, and so, yeah. Very sweet. Um, will we ever see some collabs? I mean, yeah, yeah, I think I said earlier, I would love to do some collabs. It's just something I've been really nervous about because I wasn't sure what my tech situation was here. But now that I see, we've been going for a couple hours now, and it hasn't crashed. I wasn't sure if my internet could handle it, frankly, uh, but we haven't crashed. We haven't crashed once, so this is positive, and it's very helpful for me to see. I can run this crap, and it will keep running. So good, so good. So yes, now I've got it in my head now. I can start live streaming more often. I can start doing some collabs over the internet if I can't get there in person. This is good. This has been very helpful. 
Popcorn and Bed has been great with her Poppy Awards, introducing people to new reactors. Yeah, I agree. And they they got in touch there in the Discord too. That's how uh, I was on their Poppy Awards this year and last year. And they uh, reached out last year through the Discord and just said like, do you want to be involved? And I was like, yes, of course. But yeah, that Discord has been a lifesaver actually in, in a lot of cases. Do you generally think you are generating views for film and TV companies where people watch you then watch the film? Um, I, may, I mean, I do think, to be frank, I do think some people come to the channel because they don't want to pay to like stream the movie. And I think those are the kind of people that leave a comment like, you cut too much out because they're just there to see the movie. They're not there to see me. Uh, they just want the movie for free is what I think. Um, but I think for the most part, people don't really watch reactions to things that they haven't seen. So they usually find the movie first and then watch my reaction or they'll watch a reaction and they'll say, now I'm gonna go watch the full movie. So I do think we generate views that way. And also I think especially on Patreon because I don't show the movie on Patreon. I show it down here blurred with a time running across it um, just so you can see like when the scenes change so that you can sync up your copy on your tv and have me on the computer beside or however you like it and you can see both at the same time that's how we do it on patreon so they have to find their own copy so in that way yeah all of my patreon all of my patrons who are watching my full-length reactions are absolutely finding their own copy um so yeah, I, I personally think we are generating views and at the very least, we're keeping interest alive in things. I'm not sure that that many people were, that everybody on my Patreon was still watching TNG, but now all of them have gone and found TNG or they subscribed to wherever it is, Amazon or whatever, uh, you know, so that they could watch along with me. So yeah, I, I do think we generate, I do think we generate views. So I, I do wish that there was a little more understanding from companies about that but who knows we do have to be respectful that we are using footage that doesn't belong to us so that's why we have to chop it up so small sometimes it would be so much easier for me if I could just put my full length reaction and show the whole movie and I wouldn't have to hire an editor do you know how easy that would be for me uh but we have to chop it up that's the only way that we're allowed to post it so anyways um, yeah, I don't, I don't watch reactions to stuff unless I've already watched it on my own. I'm the same way. I would never watch a reaction to a movie that I haven't seen already. Um, and I know some people do do that, but that's not, that's not my thing. I want to see the reaction to like parts that I like and jokes that I already know, that kind of thing. Does YouTube have anyone that helps out with content? Nah. YouTube doesn't help us. There, there is a chat function, but it's so bad. It's so bad. All they do is like link you to a help article that doesn't help you. So I don't even use it anymore. I just go to the reactor discord and ask my question because the, the YouTube chat is useless. What is my dog's name? His name is Boston and he's the sweetest baby. You can see him in a lot of my old videos. He used to lay on the bed behind me. Um, I guess that is the one thing about this space is I don't really have like anywhere for the cats or dog to be in here sometimes they lay over there but it's off screen um mm. do you stream on twitch no this is like my first this isn't technically my first I did one stream two years ago but I'm gonna call this my first stream because this is the first one here in this space like using my equipment that I use so yeah, this is my first stream. So I would like to uh, do some more streaming. Do you still have Jen's nuggets of wisdom? No, and I know, so I know that my editing style has actually changed a lot uh, over time. And for a while I was like adding a lot of graphics, all the like graphics and pop-ups and wisdom nuggets, like I added all that stuff in editing after I would get the editors to just chop up the video and put me in there reacting and then they would send it to me and I would put in graphics and I think in the Batman video I like had a muscle and things like that like I just thought it was funny so I just put them in there but I found I found people didn't like it as much I got a lot of comments about how bad how like distracting it was and, and all of that and it, and it was a lot of extra work for me 
Um, so just I, I, I did it for like a year just to see, you know, if I put all this extra effort in on graphics and, you know, extra things in every video, do people like it or do they not like it? And the general consensus was nah, not, not so much. So I, I know that some people were a fan and most of you guys that are here are like the nicest of the nice, my, my nice, nice fans. And I appreciate that. So you guys, I'm sure liked it. But, uh, yeah, the general consensus was it's very distracting. Don't like it. Um, I do kind of miss the wisdom nuggets, though. You guys are always welcome to timestamp and comment, like, a wisdom nugget. Because I might eventually, like, maybe I'll do some merch or something with some wisdom nuggets on them. That could be good. Wisdom nuggets were the bomb. Oh yeah, my most personal favorite was your magic vanishing act. Yes, if you haven't seen my video for the prestige, watch the outro, the the after after the movie, the comments. I I did a little magic trick. So if you missed that, go check it out. The grandpa wheezes. I mean, I still do the wheezes. I just don't point them out. I love the Nuggets and the MVPs. I know, I know. But, and, like, I mean, I can't argue with the numbers, though. And, uh, and since I phased all that stuff out, the channel started growing a lot faster. Just, to me, that sort of meant the numbers were showing me people like these videos. Just the straight reactions, no intro, no graphics, short outro. The numbers went through the roof. So that says to me that a lot of people are responding to those videos more, is, is all that says to me. I... I'm a numbers girl. I mean, I'm just, I'm sort of looking to see what makes people happiest, what people want to see the most from me. Are you a singer? Your voice comes off to me as a singing voice. Well, I do sing quite a bit in videos. Uh, I'm not a, like a singer, but I do like to sing. My sister is very good at singing. She's much better than me. You don't need any other gimmicks. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing. Like it sort of felt a little a little gimmicky, I guess. I mean, I enjoy the videos I'm doing now. It's a lot easier for me. I can put out more con more content. That's what, like, I don't think I'd be able to do the two Star Trek videos every week if I was still doing the graphics on every video. I don't think I'd have time. So, like, yeah, keep it simple. Exactly, exactly. So I, it was a good experiment, and I had fun doing those. Um, but I am finding short and sweet, simple, to the point, and just the reaction in me and that's enough and people seem to like it and then I have time to do like extra videos every week as long as there's still no old reactions yeah yeah so whatever's in the old videos they're there you can check them out and uh I know I missed the MVP awards too but like I said uh I'm doing the the monthly roundups now the, they're on Patreon but you don't have to pay to see them everybody can see them um, they're, they're open to everybody. So the monthly roundups are there. So every month I just show like what movies we watched, which ones were my personal favorite, which ones were my editor's favorite to edit, um, favorite music, favorite villains, some scenes that really stuck out to me, best songs. I think I do like what I want to build in The Sims. Uh, in January I did my dream Star Trek crew. So check those out. They're on my Patreon. Just scroll down until you see monthly roundup. Um, and you should be able to see it. But who is my favorite all-time Star Trek character? I can't. I can't decide. I won't decide. Plus, I haven't seen enough. I haven't seen enough. There's many characters I've heard that are excellent that I haven't even met yet. So, I don't know. Reaction with my dad? That would be cool. I would like that. I would like that. That would be cool. I don't know, I don't know if he'd be into it. I think he, well, I think he would. Hmm commercial break merchandise yes good idea yes 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 measure of a man tng episode and pleasantville both made my top movies for march list uh, but there were a few there were a few that stuck out that i liked 4 30 crazy we've been doing this for hours now all right well 
I think I'm gonna wrap this up soon. We did a lot of packages. We got Fast Times at Ridgemont High as my 420 movie, so that's good. Cake, I drank a bottle of mini champagne, so that's good. Q Who, I can't wait to see uploaded. Yes, Q Who, Q, Q Who, is that right? Uh, I th think, I want to, when is that one? Hold on, I'm checking when Q Who is coming to YouTube. One second, one second, one second. 16. Q Who will be next week. It'll be next Sunday. Woohoo. So that's good. And I just watched Deja Q on Patreon this week. So that one is up there. Uh, remember to call your dad back. Good call. Good call. I forgot about that. Thank you. Thank you, Randy. Fast Times isn't what you think it's going to be. I have no idea what it is. I think it's like a teen high school movie. So I don't, don't tell me. No spoilers. Uh, but I'm going to, I'm not going to get like super high. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, talk a little bit and chill and watch it and we'll, we'll see what it is. Um, but yes, so this has been great. I'm really ha excited and happy about the way that this went down. I appreciate you guys, like, your patience with me. I know we were late. We were, like, a half hour late getting started, so my bad. Um, if any of you guys are here from Patreon, I was supposed to go early on Patreon, and that did not happen. So I'm going to do, um, like, a Patreon-exclusive live stream soon. Soon, soon. I'll, I'll take a look at the calendar and see where we can put it in. But I'll do one, just a short one, with, just with you guys um, soon to make up for that because I feel bad. Um, but anyways, Fast Times is not a stoner movie. Yeah, fair enough. Um, and you were nervous. Yeah, I was really nervous. I really didn't know if this was even going to happen. I couldn't, I couldn't get, oh my god, you guys, you don't even know. I, I went to press start streaming. Oh, it took me forever to figure it out, how to hook up the one thing with the YouTube. Anyway. I finally figured it out. I was like, awesome, here we go. And I press start and then it pops up. You don't have the drivers installed. And I was like, what the frick? So I had to re install all the drivers and then restart my computer. And that took a full half hour. Uh, so that's what happened. Uh, but anyways, confident now. We got this. This is easy. This is easy peasy. And we can do this again soon. I will do this again Think about some things that we can do if I have a live stream again next time. Just noodle it over and let me know what you guys think we can do. Just comment it on some of my videos um, and I'll see it. But yeah, this was good. I'm excited. I know how to stream now. Well, like I'm not a pro, but I got it to work. I got it to work. It didn't shut down. This is brilliant. This is brilliant. Woohoo. Okay. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, one more, one more bite of cake. Whew, not gonna need any dinner. Mm -hmm. So good. I use OBS for streaming. Yeah, I'm using OBS, but it was my first time even like opening it. So I didn't know how to connect it to YouTube or anything and I, then I didn't have the right driver. So anyways, got it to work. And this is good news. I might start thinking over some collabs that we can do. Oh, Randy, thank you so much. You guys are so generous. I appreciate it so much. All of this, uh, all of these tips and stuff, all this stuff goes right back into my fund to make more videos to get them edited and things like that so that's that's what this all goes towards is just keeping the channel going keeping it running so we can continue to hang out which i appreciate but yeah you guys are awesome i appreciate it okay i don't know how to end these how do people end uh how do people end live streams they just say like okay bye and then click off is that right tell me tell me how how do we end this what do people do on live streams to end them? I don't think I've ever watched a live stream like right to the end. Ashley goes live soon. Yeah, I heard it's Ashley Burton's birthday. Tell her I said hello and happy B-Day. 
just see you bye okay <laughs> fair enough <laughs> okay fair enough uh okay good well yes celebrating 70,000 subscribers which is amazing to me and crazy let's see if we can hit 80k by independence day that would be neat and uh yeah okay it seems like everybody just says just just say peace out and then leave thank you derek yeah if, if you guys want to check out any of my links i have a links in my youtube about tab you'll see patreon there for channel members you get early access to videos and polls uh, I have the throne website, which is a wish list. You can send me gifts if you want to, no pressure, but if you feel like you want to send me something, especially like shirts, because I can wear, wear them in the video. So that's always good. Um, but yeah, thanks to everybody for being here. Oh, I do just want to quickly say, I'm just going to read off my producer names because they're awesome and they really do help keep these videos going. Uh, so Matt N, Todd Preble, John Walters, Noby, John Gray, Randy Aiken, Barry Hammock, Celeste McAllister, Orange Lion, Cool Beans, Gary Smith, Ian Hunter, Jason Skade, Carlos Perez, Andy Bodkin, Tony, Jeremy Vickers, Des Merck, Chris Sebelinski, Adam Romero, who built my site, so thank you, uh, Mr. Danny Steele, Marty McKelvey, Elliot Rittenhouse, Steve S, Doug Shack. Dominic Smith, The Intersect, Simplexity, Philip Giroux, Brian, Jeff S, EJ Nightall, Chase Bauer, Chris Wright, Uber Elder, Oliver Wickham, John Shepard, Mark Erickson, Cliff Adams, Kristen D, Polly, L.A. Triley, T.J. Kento, Nate Gavin, Manny, and Ian. I just wanted to mention all of them because they are awesome and supporting me on the highest tier over on Patreon, so that really helps the channel, super helps. And all of you guys for being here because you guys are the the coolest ones and uh, uh, all of the names here I've seen almost all of you guys in live chats before and things I see you in the comments I do my best to read all the comments uh, and I, I see a lot of you guys over and over again so thank you so much a lot of you guys have been here right from the start and I know that so I appreciate it. you've been with me this whole time so I appreciate it um all right, I'm gonna let, let, we'll, we'll call it a day here. I appreciate you guys chilling with me. I will do another live stream soon because I had a good time and I hope you guys did too. So, all right, thank you for being here and I'll see you next time. All right, I'm pressing stop now.